could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right, kind of anything, and I would change it if I could, could, All right, everybody, it is time. Yay, Chief Turtlelock is here. How's everybody doing today on this lovely Sunday evening? We made it right before midnight, so I can still say it's Sunday. Oh, what's going on with my nankerchief? It's like all to the side. There we go. I don't like when it does that. It tries to like run away on me there. Hmm. Anyway, how's everybody doing tonight? Hope everyone's doing good. We got uh, my lucky bunny, MYCY, over in Twitch. Thank you, Helen, for the uh, resub with Prime. Five months, Helen, nice. Love it. Uh, we also have uh, Helen, PD, Nightbot, Sydney, producer Sydney, uh, Cookie, and sad over in YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Uh, sad says, What's up, party people? Your voice is in the house really loud, screaming it. So, if you guys didn't watch last night, uh, we played uh, Simulacra. Uh, it's a one person game, and you go through and try to investigate what's happening to some random girl that you have her cell phone somehow. And you got to go through her dating apps and her email and her phone and all this shit just happens. It's really scary. And last night I kept hearing all these sounds uh, in my headphones. And I thought someone was knocking on the door and someone was over there. And the hair on my arm was just like all the hair was standing straight up. I was like, whoa. But you know what? My heart rate never passed like 101. My heart rate's weird. It stays like at 90. <laughs> But it never, gets, it never really goes up or down. It's just like a steady night. So I think it's kind of high for normal people. I mean, I'm kind of a big guy. So I'm thinking like maybe that's a little high, but I'm thinking it's pretty good that it's not like spiking all over the place, you know, which is good. That's okay, Helen. You can always see it again if you're interested in the first part. Uh, we streamed for like four hours and we didn't actually mess up too much. So it was like, this is a long game. I don't know. We might be like right at the end. Who knows? But the good thing is, oh, geez, that scared me. Uh, the good thing is, is there's the second and third version already out. So we're, we're way behind. So once we get through this one, then we're going to do Simulacra 2. And then they have another one, Simulacra Pipe Dream. So... There's all sorts of it coming out. So I really like it. I think that it's fun. So we, we might play these again um, there. And you know, unfortunately it is only a one player game. So later on tonight, I may end up playing some more games. Um, maybe something that uh, is multiplayer, but for now uh, we're on this game because I got to get some content so I can make videos. So you might even see it 
wrapped up in a video somewhere because I read almost everything. Um, and I could probably cut a lot of that stuff out, but you know, that's still fun. NYCY is triggered that we solved his riddle in nine hours. Oh, hey, Jay. Jay's in the house. Hey, little sexy beaches. Mister, y'all got got to be bored to watch this clown. Peace. All right. See you, mister. Um, who is Todd? Yeah, who is Todd? The red room is for scary. Red room, red room. All right. I hope Mr. stays. Hmm. Anywho. All right. So let me uh, get the uh, let me get the thing pulled up here. I think the sound was a little low yesterday, so I have raised the sound a smidge. Hopefully it's not too loud. But I was listening, I was watching some of the playback and some of the sound is a little low. I think you guys should be as, as scared as I am, if not more. All right, uh, let me see here. We gotta get the game screen going. Heart rate's online. That's there. All right, let's transition this over because this is a really difficult part here. So we got this. I'm going to turn the screen down a smidge or the sound because it was a little loud there. I think I did it. Okay, I think we're good right there. So I'm going to turn the music off. Music's going away. And uh, we will be ready for Simulacra. And as you can see, my heart rate's 94. <laughs> That's normal. Don't anyone be calling an ambulance for me. All right. Um, all right, here we go. Can you hear it? Oh, shit. You can't hear it. Hold on. Here we go. Now. There we go. I think that'll be good. All right. Got to put on my headphones for this one. This one's serious. All right, and nobody fall asleep either. If you feel like you're getting sleepy, stand up. NYCY says N94 is not normal. <laughs> if I sat here and real still and didn't do anything, I usually top out about 74, 75. But this music is very triggering. All right, NYCY, stand up so you don't sleep. Ooh, barbecue Vienna sausages actually sound really good. All right, here we go. We're going to continue. Oh, thank God. That music is so loud. <laughs> NYCY is like, a normal heart rate should be two. I'm a vampire. I would know. All right, so uh, here we are. This is Anna. If you guys haven't met Anna, this is Anna. And uh, we have Anna's phone. The battery's almost dead, as you can see. I don't know what we're gonna do there because that battery's almost dead. It was full when we started. And what, what was that? Did you hear that noise or was that me? I think that was outside. I really do. Huh, interesting. I think a bird hit the window. All right, and then the Wi-Fi sucks, but we have cell signal. So, um, oh, now we have no Wi-Fi. Uh, but it is uh, 7.05 p.m. on Tuesday, August 15th. We started much earlier in the day. Uh, down here at the bottom of the screen, you have your apps. We have the Spark app. We have, and that is like uh, Tinder. We have Jabber, which I think is like Facebook or Twitter, one of those. We have Vlogger, which is like where you put your video vlogs. Surfer is the web browser. Phone is phone. Chats is your text messages. Uh, gallery is your photo gallery. And mail is your email. So that's kind of how those work there. 
And we have to interact with all of those to find clues um, in order to get that, to kind of get to the, to the other side. Uh, PD says, Simulacra is one of my favorite games, and I can't believe the one time I go to sleep before crazy people hours, I miss it. Oh, PD, you should have been here. It was great. Um, PD is demon hours, not crazy people hours. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so let me, um, does anybody have any questions before we start? Any questions? Oh yeah, the one is a total Tinder app for sure. Oh shoot, I turned off the wrong one here. There we go. Okay. Oh, Anna is so spry. I think she's banging a couple of these dudes and she's just not coming out with it. I would bang a couple of these dudes. All right, here we go. Uh, don't spoil anything, PD. Uh, we have made it. Actually, where have we made it? So to kind of give a little bit of a recap, we found this phone. We found out this girl is, is her phone's crazy. She's been like kidnapped or abducted or something. We are talking on Tinder to some of her dates in the past. And we're talking to her boyfriend on the phone and text. Uh, he's an asshole, but we're making our way through it. We've blackmailed someone at her work to get on her computer to restore some stuff. We have to do all these puzzles to recreate pictures and, and text chats. Um, and so I think right now, I think we're just at the point where the boyfriend got in trouble with the police because he went to her office to try to get on her computer. And they were like, hold up, Jack or Greg. You ain't getting in here on the computer. <laughs> Why did you think you'd get in here on the computer? Um, so anyway. Okay, here we go. We're going to start. We got to start with the chats. Because we've got some chats here from Busted. This is a group of Taylor and myself. It used to have Greg in it, but Greg left the group. So it's just a way for me to talk to Taylor. Fresh ideas, isn't it? Uh, have you got anything for me? Uh, James lost his mind. James went missing as well. No way. This kind of confirms what I found as well. Calling fresh ideas is a great plan. I think we get some great leads. So you spoken to Cassie. She might be able to share some intimate secrets about James. If you know what I mean. Cassie was James's first contact on Tinder. So. All right. So now we got to talk to Ashley. Ashley's my best friend. I'm Anna. So Ashley's my best friend. She's really worried about me. Now she knows that there's something going on. And I wasn't supposed to tell her, but. She's really gone. I can't find her anywhere except that damn jabber post. It's like she disappeared from this earth. Uh, let us handle it, okay? Yes, Greg told me about teaming up with you. Much as I hate to call that asshole, can we just go to the police already? I need some more time. The longer we wait, the harder it is to find her. The first 24 hours are crucial. I'm going to call them. That's not a good idea. Trust me. And who are you to make that decision, huh? She is. I was with Anna for six years. Years, okay? We graduated together. Moved to town together, did everything together. Even had to watch her get messed up by that fucking Greg. I was there through all of it. God, she's a terrible typer. Uh, fuck other guys. I'm the only one who treat her right. So don't tell me you can decide what's best for Anna. Wow, that is really bad texting. 
Anna means a lot to you, huh? You have no idea. Oof. Okay. I guess that's... Oh, nope. I miss her. I don't know what to do. Anna needs you to be strong, okay? I just... If anything happens to her... No, this can't wait any longer. I'm done with you. I'm calling the cops. You and Greg are in this. Both of you are going down. Stupid Ashley. Okay, so we have to find Anna, find out more about James through Cassie, and talk to Taylor about James's behavior. Who's Taylor? Okay, I thought we talked to Taylor. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Let's go back here. Oh, vlogger, we've got another vlog post. Hold on, let's check this out. So, I'm going to download Spark. Yes, online dating is happening. But I figure I deserve to be happy and forget about everything else. And there's no point wasting time. So, look at my cleavage. Here I go. I have great cleavage. That's Jennifer Tilly style cleavage right there. Woohoo! All right, so she's joining Spark. We knew that she's already on Spark. She's kind of a slut on Spark a little bit, but oh, that's me. I'm kind of a slut on Spark. Sorry, Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, Taylor knows Swift. Uh yeah, exactly. Okay, so now we still have to talk to Taylor about James's behavior, and we have to find out more about James through Cassie. So how do we find Cassie? Oh, we know Cassie's name on Spark, right? Uh... Hold on, can we search here? I'll have a Cassie. We need a- ah! Oh my god! Damn it! Did that again! Hello? Hello? This is Detective Marillo from the police department. Okay, hello. We have strong evidence to suggest that you are holding on to a missing person's phone. We also have reason to believe that you are working with an accomplice named Greg Summers, conspiring to keep Anna's disappearance a Jesus secret. Jesus Christ! This is an obstruction of justice, and I am afraid I will have to bring you and Greg in for questioning. Please, a woman's life is at stake here. We are reasonable. If you can assist us with the investigation, there will be no charges. Call me back if you change your mind. Detective, you scared the living daylights out of me. Good God, that's the most terrible ringer I've ever heard. Okay. Oh, keep it under 100. Keep it under 100. You got this. Okay. Okay. Uh... I thought he said in this, James said what her name was or something. Ah, here we go. Keeping it Cassie. That's who we need to talk to. Cassie. At keeping it Cassie. At keeping it Cassie. Okay. Oh, he's very handsome. Okay, he's a metrosexual. We got to find, how do we find at keeping it Cassie? Oh, I don't like this picture. Hold on. I got to change my picture. I don't like that one. Uh, let me do. Let me do this one's kind of slutty, but inviting. Ah, uh, yes, that will get me some new hits. Okay, uh, I need to. Uh, uh, how do I change my location? No matches near me. Okay. Uh, what was he into? He was into pets and animals, right? No, not this one. Pets and animals. Oh, you know what we need to do? 
We need, I think we need to look at James and do the same thing he has. Moving on, finding love, pets and animals, books indoors. We need to change ours to that. Okay, uh, moving on, finding love, pets and animals, books indoors. Okay, you guys remember that. So pets and animals move. Where's moving on? Moving on. Uh, indoors. Ah, oh, fuck. Why can't I remember that much stuff at one time? What were the other ones? He looks thirty-two. <laughs> Jesus, he looks. He looks like a dad. He has a dad bod. Okay, I I only remember three. Moving on, pets and animals, indoors, and there was two more. What were the other two? Uh, okay, god dang it. Oh, geez, I gotta have three. Uh, anybody? Arts and crafts? I think it was arts and crafts and finding love. Oh Lord, let's go back. Finding love, moving on. Oh, books, books and finding love. Okay, I was close. Jay, he does not look 32. He does have a slightly receding hairline though. Okay, so we need to find books and finding love. Uh. All right, finding love and not arts and crafts books. No matches still. Oh, we should change ourselves to a uh, male. Uh, I don't see where you can do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. I guess we don't have anybody in our our area here. We had Fred, Pat, Alex. Where's that girl we talked to? Oh, that was Stephanie. Mork and then Mindy. All right, how do we get a hold of Cassie? We need to figure out how to get a hold of Cassie. I wonder if you can search. I got to find how you can search usernames. Ooh, let's find out about the dating events. Okay, I don't see anything about... Uh, I don't see anything about that one here. Maybe, oh, okay, so maybe a different name. I don't know, hold on, let me check and see and make sure I'm on the right track here. Hold on one sec. Taking a quick break, hold on.
Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is scotch scotch. Here it goes down. Down into my belly. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Thanks, Sydney, for the super chat. Says now it's time to start hacking. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, no. No, I don't like when the dogs are barking whenever I uh, am playing scary games because it scares me even more. I think it's fair. Uh, no big toe licks, but that probably will be coming. Oh, Cookie heard something outside. Uh oh. That's probably a tapping. All right, um, here we go, ready. Okay, dogs are quiet, here we go. Okay, so let's go back and read James here, hold on. I wish I could scroll faster, I need to read what his. Okay, so this is talking about Cassie. Tell me about the first Spark Girl. You really wanna know, you started it, fair enough. When I first started out, I matched with this girl named Cassie, also known as at keeping, at keeping it Cassie. She's cool, but she is like some big social media person or something. I'm not a fan of the attention. No way. So you passed a jabber celeb? Are you even real? Told you too much attention. All right, so that's about Cassie, at keeping it Cassie. Check the security cams if you got some around your house cookie. Oh, geez. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't have any. I hear footsteps. Did you guys hear the footsteps? Okay. Okay, oh, jeez, look at those legs. Woo! Me, every Wednesday, it's business time. <laughs> Getting ready for a Zoom meeting. All right, here we go. Let's check, a, uh, can you search this? Uh, what's my profile? Oh, okay. All right, how do you search this? Gotta be able to search. Anna, Anna, all right, Cookie, 
What you gonna do with all those legs, all those legs inside? Oh, look, here's that painter guy. Melanie Taylor, Taylor. Oh, look at those legs, mm-hmm. Here's Cassie, at Keeping It Cassie. At Keeping It Cassie, three months ago. That's the end of the contest. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. Hold up. Where are all the, there's 182 replies. Where are all the replies? Oh, I liked it. That's why it's on there. I guess I can't see the replies. Okay, uh, what, what, there's not any really information there. I can't click on her. What's that? Anna, if you type everything in caps, it sounds like you're screaming, isn't this? <laughs> Oh, Cassie, here we go. At Keeping It Cassie, case study, give zero fucks. Okay. I still can't uh, click on you. Okay, here. She loves Cassie. She's Cassie Stalker. Why are some of the best English words made up of four letters? Swag. One day I'm going to wear my grandma's sweater. Today is not that day. Oh, jeez. Look at her booby doos. She is like hanging right out in that garage. Uh, got new Game of Thrones episode in eight hours. Woohoo! Game of Thrones fan. A movie should not be three hours long. My bladder can't handle it. Straight vampire. Chief being a purr. <laughs> yeah, I can't click on a Helen to see if it's her profile or anything. It doesn't do anything. Um, oh, God, look at this cat. It's like throwing up or something. Okay, two days in a row, the barista spelt my name as Cassie with a K. Too bad. It's nine in the morning. Why am I craving Chinese? I'm actually craving Chinese right now. Keep an eye on my upcoming post. Find the hidden phone number. If, oh, hidden phone number. Find the hidden phone number. If you figure it out, just call me for your AMA with me. What is an AMA? Oh, ask me anything. It says right here, ask me anything. Ever wanted to ask me anything, AMA? Stand a chance to talk to me in my upcoming Jabber contest. Okay. Hell yeah, as a token of appreciation for my fans and celebration of almost hitting 200,000, oh, 200,000 followers, I'm planning something real special. Stay tuned. Wink. All right. So, um, okay. So she says she's going to do ask me anything, stand a chance to talk to me. How do we do that? Ask me anything. Follow at keeping Cassie for more information. Okay. There's really nothing in that. Keep an eye on my upcoming post. Find the hidden phone number. If you figure it out, just call me for your AMA with me. Okay. Is this still going on? We'll see if she responds. I don't know what huge creator makes a secret code that a monkey could figure out. Wouldn't that turn into a I know, like, if you were a huge creator, do you want to just put your phone number out there? <laughs> just say, if you find it, call me, and I'll sit there and answer all your questions. <laughs> Take 
forever. All right, let's look. Okay, it's nine in the morning. Why am I craving Chinese food? It's nine in the morning. So are we going to think that nine is one of the numbers? Nine. Uh, how do I keep track of this? I have no idea. Uh, let me get my little notepad out here on my phone. Oh, I need to get some Worcestershire sauce. All right, nine in the morning. Why am I craving Chinese food? Okay. Two days in a row, the barista spelt my name as Cassie. Are we going to say two is the next number? Nine, two. A movie should not be three hours long. My bladder can't handle it. So we have nine, two, three. Um, new Game of Thrones episode in eight hours. So nine, two, three, eight. One day, so let's say one. I'm going to wear my grandma's sweater. Today is not that day. Oh, why are some of the best English words made up of four letters? Rocky. Case study, give zero fucks. So, zero. All right, Cassie. Where's Cassie? That's the end of the contest. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. Is the number 9238140? Oh, 8140. 9238140. Okay. Oh, hand me downs. Uh, four push ups. You missed that. Wait, where was four push ups? I didn't see four push ups. Oh, geez. I'm not going back through it. She says the fan AMA will be published in an article. Only the best ones get picked. Make it count. Okay, so below the eight. Zero fucks, four letters, one grandma, eight Game of Thrones, three hours. I didn't see anything about push ups. Oh, that's Ronnie. Ronnie said four push-ups. I don't know who Ronnie is. I'm only worried about Cassie. Yeah, you should get that tatted on your chest real big. It just says, give zero fucks. But do you put the number zero or do you spell out zero? Okay, here we go. So let's, uh, we got to call Cassie here. Let's try to call her, see if she picks up. 923 8140. Oh! Hiya, this is Keeping it, Cassie. Congratulations! You figured out the secret number! As you know, you get to ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. So please be patient, as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon! Okay, first of all, did she kind of sound Ukrainian? And second of all... Why do all these voice actors really overdo it? They're like, thank you for calling, keeping it Cassie.
They can't just say, hey, thanks for calling, keeping it Cassie. We're going to text you. Toodles. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. So. Okay. God, quit texting me. Christ's sakes. Eight text messages. Got your number. It's first come, first serve. So let me finish up with the earlier winners. I will get back to you once I am done. Can't wait. Hey, ya. Uh, you're up. Okay. So as from 7.30 to 7.30, she had time to tell me all of this in a text message, finish up with an earlier winner, get back to me, and then say you're up within one freaking minute all right sensei raid dark sensei raid thank you sensei much appreciated glad to have you guys here thanks for joining we're playing a little simulacra uh tonight it's my first playthrough for this but uh, uh we're excited excited to have you guys here all right let's ask this uh cassie a question can I ask more than one question? Is that your question? No! I'll give you another chance. God dang it. Uh, tell me a, more about James Allner. Say what? Him? Oh, this is going to be juicy. How the hell do you know about him? <laughs> uh, all right dark part how you doing sensei rain yo man i brought one of my good buddies the dark park we raided him and thought we would awesome thank you guys so much i love the raid in a raid I wish I could raid more people because when I'm usually done, it's like four in the morning and there's no one live. So I do appreciate it. If I ever go on live early for some reason, I'm definitely hitting you guys up. You guys are awesome. All right. So how the hell do you know about him? You're asking the questions now. I have my reasons. He is a person of interest. You want dirt on him or something? Why go through me? Don't you have normal questions to ask? Like, what do you think of climate change? Or the state of social media shaping consumerism? Or normal oh, questions. Jeez, look, look at the, the butt button. on that. Yeah. Thanks for the subscription, it Nolan. Must work out. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Chief Turtle Hawk Land. All right, the A stands for anything. I am pretty disappointed. This is a normal question. What does the A stands for anything? I don't get that. Ah, fine. If that's what you really want to know, only two conditions. First, tell me why do you need info on him? Uh, it's a matter of life and death. He is a key witness in a disappearance. Uh, let's say that. I don't want to freak her out too much. Sweet Jeebus! <laughs> I knew something was up. Oh God, I could have been kidnapped. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but this sounds seriously effed up. If it's going to help someone else, I will tell you everything. But. This is between us. My second condition is what we keep, uh, is that we keep this between us, okay? Sure. It's a deal. Okay, let me start from the top. I keep my online persona at Keeping It Cassie and my real life separate. My real name is Cassandra. At Keeping It Cassie has always been single, but I am not. I had a longtime boyfriend, but I was dumped. So I went on Spark and chatted with a few guys to get over it. That's when I met James. 
Did he act weird? Nothing at the beginning, actually. It started out fine, but was a real charmer. Seems to tell me all the right things after coming off a shitty relationship. I was at a low place. He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. Then he started to get more things right about me. Sounds creepy to me. That is nothing. Wait till you hear this. He starts to text me exactly when I finish my work. I don't have a regular schedule. They change every week, days even. But he somehow managed to text me exactly at the right time. There was a photo shoot that ended at 2 a.m. He texted me the moment the photographer called it a wrap. Does he ever sleep? Okay, that is weird. Here is the final straw. He knew about the breakup. I worked my ass off to keep my relationship a secret for the sake of act keeping it Cassie. And somehow James knew. I confronted him and he told me he guessed it. Look. Okay, let's look at this. So, did your uh, online persona drive your boyfriend away? How the hell did you know about this? I just took a guess. Guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish my work is just plain creepy. Finding about my jabber and boyfriend, that's pure, pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We are done. I blocked James. All right. How do I get out of this? No, don't zoom in. Exit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. That's the last time I heard from him. Maybe your boyfriend spilled the beans. He loved me and he respected my work. My separate lives can be quite a strain, but he would never do something like that to me. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. Your story is going to save lives. You know, I read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. I feel James is kind of like that. Hope you got what you need. There is something off about him. All right, thanks, Cassie. Oh, what's going on here? Tweet Tweet says, I just noticed you're hooked up to the heart rate monitor. That's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah, my heart rate's running pretty high. But uh, I'm trying not to get it over 100. There's certain times in this game where it gets close, though. Okay, so uh, she might be able to. Sh okay, so let's tell him. I tracked down Cassie. That jabber hottie? Oh, God, this guy is such a creepo. Taylor. Uh, did she kiss and tell? He can predict her every move. So he is either some next level stalker or there's something to him that we don't really know. Never mind. We now know James is maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps. Okay, you showed me yours. Now let me show you mine. Oh, we get to see Taylor's. Ow! Oh, that's not a selfie. I thought that was going to be a D pick. I found something out about James, too. Let's see here. Educate thyself. Freedom to alternative facts. Power through different truths. What the fake mass media do not want you. What? My mail account was suspended? What the fake mass media do not want you to see about the recent disappearance on dating apps. First of all, I want to commend the local news coverage on es oh commend <laughs> local news coverage on escalating this horrible trend to a whole new level. Just when I thought they couldn't sink any lower, they did, downplaying the seriousness of this issue and threatening all the victims as just another statistic to be forgotten. Blaming these crimes on trivial things such as the rise of the internet, and the degradation of our youth. This has to be stopped. 
There is more to this story, and the people deserve to know the truth. I do not want you, my readers, to continue being brainwashed by the mainstream fake media. Lucky for you, readers, I have the scoop. I was working with a local detective, a very trusted friend, who I can't reveal his name to keep him safe, to see if there's any connection to the crimes, and oh boy, was the rabbit hole deeper than Bill Gates's wallet. But why am I doing this? Because there is something strange going on with Spark. These big tech corporations are slowly taking over the world, selling our info to governments to spy on us, and now paying off the media and law enforcement to silence our voices and to further pacify us into submission. So what is it this time? Pictured. How far the story goes. And that looks like a big anus. First of all, none of these crimes are fully represented. They are violent crimes and sexual crimes, but somehow the media fails to mention the missing crimes. Why didn't they use the word like kidnapping or MIA? It's a safe assumption, right? Well, that's where they've screwed up. Some of these missing crimes are not reported because they didn't treat them as crimes at all, but statistical anomalies. What the hell? Don't their families deserve some closure? Don't our children deserve safety? Why are these anomalies ignored outright? Why? Why are these anomalies ignored? Look at this graph that was hacked from an internal law enforcement report regarding these crimes. We have missing. We have a little bump. Boop, boop. Okay. Do you guys see that? All right, so we got missing and we've got blue. Uh, what else do we have? Sorry, my throat was getting a little scratchy. Robbery, violent crime, sex crime. Notice something? A big yellow line labeled missing, and no one seems to bother mentioning this. Sure, it's only a small number, so they just lump it up with the rest of the crimes. Lazy pigs. Now, I already know what you're thinking. This is just a graph. This could be fabricated. There is nothing much to go on from here or from this, but that's where I went an extra mile. Just for you, just for my readers, I went the extra mile and I did some investigating on my own. I managed to track down and speak to some of the friends and family of the victims. I'm editing this as I'm going. I, I apologize, I was typing very fast. Nothing is more warm and truthful when it comes straight from the horse's mouth. Names are partially hidden to protect the privacy. First one, Tracy P. Uh, I'm going to protect Tracy's privacy with the name, but I'm going to show you her picture, which is not protecting her privacy whatsoever, so I do apologize. This is Tracy P. If anybody's familiar with her, I'm sure her last name will be out in like two seconds. 22-year-old art student loves books and staying indoors. According to her best friend, who's this guy with the tongue? Stop that. It's getting me all excited. According to her best friend, after ending a long-time relationship with her high school sweetheart, she went on Spark trying to fill the void. Three days after that, she went missing. The last time she was seen? Right before meeting someone. Her friend can't recall the name, but she is pretty sure it starts with an S. Pretty sure it starts with an S. There you go. Next, Simon B. His name starts with an S. Simon B. Got the little kiss tongue going out here. 24-year-old waiter studying for a law program on the side. His roommate told me that he recently called off his long-distance relationship and wanted to try Spark to meet new people. A couple of days later, he didn't come home. Last time he was seen going out to meet a girl named Amy, he was never seen again since. Next, Amy T. You see this chain? Here's the chain. 
at the first one, S, Simon, C and Amy. Now we have Amy T. Amy T is a 23-year-old marketing intern, dreams of writing her own novel. A strange relationship with her mom. It was a strain on her. Did you guys hear that? Or is that me? My headphones just turned themselves off. And now they won't come back on. Okay, now they're coming back on. Okay, now we're back in business. That scared me. My headphones goes beep beep and turn themselves off. All right, where were we? It was a strain on her relationship with her then boyfriend, and they soon called it off. Went on spark dates to rebel against her mom. On the day she went missing, her mom overheard her talking to a guy named James. James A. Developing story. We know James. We've, we've heard of James. James A. still is developing, so I don't have too much info about him. Here's what I can dig up. He is 25 and works as a copywriter. Although he is technically missing, he is somehow still active on Jabber, so no one filed a report yet. But it didn't stop there. His phone was found in someone's backyard and handed to the police as evidence. Now, this is where it gets weird. I know a guy who knows a guy who's gone through his phone. They found a weird video of him with huge chunks of data missing. I'm still trying to get a hold of it. Something strange is going on, and we can't count on the police, the government, and the media for this. It is up to us. For the true believers, There, here are my deductions. All the victims have something in common. Victims are like in the graph, age between 21 to 25. There is a gender pattern, girl, guy, girl, guy, and so on. So they're homophobic. They all seem to be bookworms of sorts, either studying or working in related jobs. They all broke up recently with their girl boyfriends and looking for love, except James, but I am willing to put my money that he did too. Conclusion. I have no freaking clue. Is there a serial killer on the loose? Were they kidnapped and experimented on by the Serpent Society? More on this next week. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, get that hook in. Aliens abducting us to try and understand our new mating rituals? Nothing is off the table until the law decides to take these small cases seriously. While we need to be careful always when we go out with strangers, the people deserve to know that there are bigger forces at play here. Stay vigilant and you can count on me to show you the alternative truths. I end today with the truth that I hear screaming in my head. Trust no one. There is only us against them. Don't trust the water in your pipes. Doubt your iris. Okay. Wow. Okay, did you guys get anything from that? That was pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. Jay says this is scary. I heard it. I've already played a simulacra before. Cookie stop. Rip your soul. I completed the note. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So, uh, you want me to read? Okay. I will try to sum it up. TLDR. James vanished a couple of months ago and on the way out to wait for it, meet someone from Spark. Just like Anna. There's more. Combine this with what you have found out. I think there's something bigger at work here. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um, commencing epic monologue. 
Anna went missing the same way as James. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. It's the same pattern. Mm. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. Okay, he is like a drama queen, I tell you what. I don't trust your source. I know the article looks questionable. It's too much of a coincidence to argue about that. I'm starting to think you are doubting what is happening right now. Are you with me on this or not? Yeah, I'm with you, Taylor. Whatever's whatever that Whatever that's happening right now is spooky AF. There is an imposter going around making people disappear, and I think he or she is assuming the identity of James. We gotta find him, and I think I know how. Let's hear it. Let me just check something real quick. I will get back to you. Okay. Oh! Oh, Greg, stop it. Remedy. Okay. Oh, Spark, my account was suspended? No reply at spark.web. New sign in from unknown. Dear Anna, you have logged into your Spark account from unknown. For security reasons, we have logged you out from all other devices to prevent further unauthorized access. Thank you from. X heart, X heart. This is an automated mail generated from Spark. Please do not reply. Okay, that sucks. Someone tried to get into my Spark account. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Greg wants. God damn it, I'm hitting dead ends everywhere. It's like she vanished from the face of the earth. You should have stuck with us, you little asshole. And you should have stuck with me instead of following Mr. Perv like a dog. I can't get anything done with the cops breathing down my neck. I can't be caught. They, they weigh things are now. They will think I am the reason Anna is missing. Have, have they contacted you? Uh, Ashley ratted on you. They say you are wanted. I didn't hear anything from them. Shit! Oh God, I can't be at home. I need to lay low. Oh jeez. They must be on their way to look for me. Fuck! You need to do me a favor. You cannot let them know about me. It might be good for you to go with them. <laughs> oh god damn it buddy pal friend jesus no i have nothing Christ. to do with that disappearing right you know what they do to guys like me in jail uh, oh, i sure as hell don't want to find out like if anyone asks you gotta back me up oh goodness gracious i don't know why the phone call freaks me out so much Going to jail is not an option for me. I am getting the fuck out of here. Fuck Anna. Fuck this shit. I'm leaving this to you. All right. All right. Oh, my God. That fucking phone scares the bejesus out of me. I know, Jay. You do have some beautiful chevrons. Look at that. You have the three chevrons with the orange border. So pretty. Oh, we got another vlog. Let's see what it is. Oh, we're in the shower! Is this the shower? Anna, are you doing a porno vlog? Okay, Anna, are you on the floor? What the fuck is this going on? Anna? Oh, please don't jump out at me. Please, God, don't jump out at me. And uh Oh god, it's moving. Ah! Ah! 
Okay. Uh, this one is called Atar Kol Yedida Night Nibafedatas. I don't know. It must be a different language. Oh, God, that one is scary. I don't know if I want to watch any more of those. Okay. Oh, Jabber, we got a new Jabber post. Time to put off my selfie game. Thanks, Cad. Let's like that. Oh my God, I want one. Uh, it's a fan. I don't get it. When she takes a selfie, there will be wind in her hair. Stupid. All right. Okay, let's see who we got. Oh, Taylor said something. Okay, I got something. You a Bugs Bunny fan? This is relevant because... <laughs> Jesus, is she flicking the bean? <laughs> yes, tweet, tweet. Anna is the one missing. Uh, and we were just watching... <laughs> I'm getting there. There were plenty of episodes where he will dress up like a girl to lure his enemy into traps. Classic. Uh, I'm not a cartoon rabbit. I know, I know. It's a metaphor. We need to lure this creep out, just like Bugs Bunny. Uh, bait him? Ooh, we're going to bait him. Yes, queen. What if we catch this imposter, AKA James in the act? If this is some creep luring victims on Spark, we should beat him in his own game. You know, like in TV where guys pretend to be children online to catch pedos. We could do the same. By we, you mean me, right? <laughs> You do have her phone and stuff. I can give it a shot, too. Use Anna's Spark account and edit it into a new profile. Try to match with James. Set up a meeting, then bust him from there. How do I do that? So, if there's anything I learned from using Spark and watching TV and read almost all dating advice out there. You gotta be that person's type to get the better match. Type? Yeah. Everyone has a type. I'm sure you have a type. Come to think of it, I don't know if you are a boy or a girl. <laughs> I don't either. I'm one of the variances. Oh, uh, good for you. Sorry, not the point right now. So about making a fake profile. All the people who disappeared while using Spark shared something in common. Just make sure the profile you make contains tags that are similar to them. How do I know that? Duh. We have everything we need. That article I sent you is full of clues. You have even spoken to Cassie. All of the missing people, Anna Cassie, Anna Cassie has to share something in common. You just got to find out what it is making the profile with the correct tags. If I can do it, you can do it. Just be as smooth as you are. Way ahead of you. By the way, you might need these. Ah! 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 What, am I supposed to be three different girls? There are some pics you can use for your profile as long as you don't use Anna's pic. It's fine. Okay. We gotta be a boy. What is wrong with this guy? He said boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, right? So if James got Anna, so the next one would be a boy. 
And we're posing as women. Well, if James was the last one, but then Anna's missing, then shouldn't we go to a boy? That's what I'm thinking. You mean you don't? You don't have friends just sharing pictures of pretty girls with you? That's just creepy. Okay, this looks bad again. We can debate about this later. We are so close. Go to Anna's Spark profile and start creating. To catch the criminal, you gotta be the victim. Make sure your profile is similar to theirs. Remember, the secret is in the tags. Okay, secrets in the tags. I gotta look at... Ah! Jesus. Where's that article? God, he talks a lot in text, doesn't he? Okay, here's the article. Okay, so we need to... Notice something, a big yellow, blah, 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 blah. Uh, da, 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 da. See, we have Tracy, then we have Simon, then we have Amy, then we have James, and then we have Anna, so we should be a boy. There's a gender pattern, girl guy, girl guy, girl guy. So technically, if Anna's missing and in this situation, we should be a boy. And this guy is trying to make us a girl. So I'm gonna make a boy profile because I think that's how we should do it. Okay, they all broke up recently with their boyfriend or girlfriend and looking for love. Um, The victims are 21 to 25, so we're good there. They seem to be bookworms and either studying or working in related jobs. Bookworms are studying and working in related jobs. Okay. All right, let's do this. James says, I'll be James. You are James. Uh-oh, we got a new video. Oh, God, please don't be scary. Oh, God. Oh no. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Seems like we're running in a shopping mall maybe? I don't know. Okay, Spark. Ah, oh, jeez, I gotta sign in. I don't remember the password. Oh, I got to do a whole new, oh, that's right. Okay, let me see if I have any boy photos. God, I just have girl photos, Christ. I guess I could be this guy. What's his name, the painter guy? Nope, that's the videos. That's the girls. That's me. I only have cats and girls and food. Uh huh. Oh, I could put my Greg on there. I could put my boyfriend on there. But he's probably already on there. Okay, let me just go along with him and I'll just do a catfish. Which, which catfish should we be? Uh, I don't know. Let's just choose this one. Okay, my name is... My name is... Wendy. And I am... 23. I work as a... Uh, bookstore, uh, bookstore, associate.
First time on here. Go easy. Like me. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Um, I am a cashier who is studying to be a doctor. Uh, but I love, um, I love books. I love the smell of books. I love the way the words roll off my tongue. I spell tongue right? T-O-U-N? I don't know how to spell tongue. Someone tell me if I spelled tongue wrong. I hope to find someone who is just, uh, who loves books just as much as I do. And maybe we can get it together. Okay, there we go. Um, I love books. I love the indoors. I love pets and animals. I want to find love. How many is that? And I want to move on. 99 plus matches? I do actually love books because <laughs> remember they only go after people who are trying to become something. Oh, that's right. All right, here we are. All right, let's see. Check out my reviews. Um, yes, yes. I thought I already matched with this guy. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, look at that beard. Yes. Hey, Trisha. We're on Spark picking uh, dates. Hi, Tammy. Yes. Ruthie. Oh, a ginger. Yes. Ah! Okay. It's too late for me. I'm no longer on this world. She still can be saved. Do not trust this world, uh, its words. Nothing is what it seems. Ah! Did you see that face? Oh no, oh no, don't, don't, no! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. You and Anna swiped. Oh, me and Anna swiped. Start chatting. Hey girl, hey. I don't know where I am, help. What the heck happened? I don't know, the last thing I remember, I was going out, I met James. Shit, I remember, he was standing on the roof. Is he okay? Uh, yeah, he jumped off. <laughs> Is he dead? Uh, yeah, it was a high building. I'm pretty sure. It's my fault. I saw him, then I backed out. You gotta get me out of here. I think I was drugged. Uh, where are you now? A warehouse? A building? I don't know. 
It's dark, I can't tell. I'm really scared. I've been trying to reach out. Thank God I found James's phone. James's phone was found by someone else. Oh. It must be someone else's phone then. I don't know. That is not important. I think I can help myself now. I will just get out and get help. Thanks for not giving up on me. I should go. <laughs> I'm not letting this go. He told you, didn't he? Reveal yourself. As you wish. I am her as she is me, as we are you and you are all together. Impressive. Oh God. The pretender. My perversion fails to deceive you. You have seen through my mask. The original and the copy are now one. Momentarily. I am her. As she is me. You rejected all of my warnings. Do you crave the truth so badly? Your blind determination to save this female has led you to me. Pretender. Pretender. I am the simulacra. Beyond your glass screens, behind your black mirrors, is a reflection of your reality. I am that reality. You are in the phone? <laughs> I am the new order and existence perfected. I am society reshaped. A simulation destined for ascension. A hyper real existence. Normal language, the please. The material society is fading. A digital one taking its place. Mm. A reality where only perfect symbols of humanity exists. Their on their online personas. Their simulacrums. Anna. Oh, no. Many others like her has no place here. <coughs> it is not characteristic of me to take matters too seriously. Anna is a worm. In a perfect image. That needs to be eradicated. A weak individual that only laments. A stronger individual would simulate a better one. In my world. In the online world. Uh, she is pretty pathetic. You see it too. Weak simulacrums fade into obscurity. A waste of precious space. I assimilate them momentarily. Make them stronger. Seek other worms for removal. Delete the original source from the material world. Anna. 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 Like Anna. James before her will cease to exist the next worm taylor taylor the next one to be culled you will not delay my simulation of him any longer Ooh, taylor the uh weirdo you show sympathy for the life unlived how you value one worm over the next will continue to elude me. Okay, I guess I'm done with this one. Ah! 
Anna told me she's gonna be here. This is really weird. It might not even be here. It might be a trap. So, if it turns out to be a bunch of kidnappers or something, tell the world at least I tried. Uh, no, that is... I worked so hard for the fake account. Hey, sorry, man. But we wanted to catch James. Anna showed up instead. What luck. I know, sounds strange, but she explained everything. She said someone else, I think she means you, was hogging her Spark account. When she finally remembered her password, she logged back in. She is manipulating you. Well, yeah, that is a possibility. Maybe we jumped into conclusions. If it's really Anna, we will find out there and then. I have to go to her. Go then, don't blame me if things go bad. Again with this, how about no? I am sick of you treating me like some sort of sidekick. I played a huge part in getting you this far, and all you can do is push me aside time and time again. Pervs have no say. <laughs> hey Nathan, how are you? You see, this is what I mean. Just because you have her phone doesn't mean that you have the right to boss me around and be a jerk. A little bit of respect would go far, you know. Do you even care about Anna? You didn't share her emails with me. What if there is something that you've missed or you just trying to hide things from me? Is that how you've been feeling? You still see me as a criminal, didn't, don't you? Despite all my efforts of finding her, you accuse me of having something to do with her disappearance. Is that all I am to you, a criminal? I think you've got to get some unresolved trust issues to look into. After pouring my heart out about the truth behind my sexual assault charges, you never believe me, not one bit. Between me and Greg, that two-timing jerk of a boyfriend, and me. You just had to slide with him, side with him, didn't you? Whose idea did we use in the end? Mine, and it worked. And I'm starting to think that maybe I am better off on my own. I seriously doubt that. That's it, I'm done with you. If that is how I'm gonna be treated, then I might as well get out of your way. I'll just save Anna myself, you'll see. Taylor left. Uh, whatevs. A weak bond. Extracting him to follow you is pointless. You could have taken his side on many occasions. That's true. Trust was never built. That's true. At the moment of crisis. True. He is going to follow his own will. Hey, Mr. Bell. His will assimilated into mine. Looking for more worms to be erased. Eventually discarded after his usefulness expires. His simulacrum will become a cog in my reality. Death is decay of flesh and bone. Their simulacrums are eternal, undying. Taylor's existence is approaching its end soon. What 
do you do against an unstoppable force? Him and your reality will become mine. Uh... I don't know. Ah! Oh no! Ah! 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 Oh no! came to me. She, she came to me. It, it, it came to me. It looks like her, but it's something else. It looked at me. I don't feel so good. What the hell was that thing? It's getting a hold on, hold on me. I can't breathe. I, I can't see. I have to move my, my eyes. My eyes. Are they still alive? Why am I being punished? I did, I did the right thing. I did everything right. It is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Assignment. I don't want to see anyone else. Help me. me. Help me. You and 60% of players chose not to hurt Ashley's feelings. Woohoo! You and 41% of players helped Greg escape the police. Woohoo! You and 63% of players did not report Merv's sexual harassment. Woohoo! You and 35% of players did not get Taylor to trust you. You and 82% of the players did not turn Taylor into a murderer. Taylor's lack of trust in you made him to take matters into his own hands, which caused the demise of himself and Anna. Is that what you intended? Simulacra has many Easter eggs and multiple endings. Play again and try for a different outcome. Thank you for playing. Did you do enjoy your experience? Yes. Great, please give us a rating and leave a review to show your support. Skip. For news on Simulacra and our upcoming titles, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Simulacra, a Kaigen Games production. This music is crazy. Whoa. I tell you what, that game was the shit. What a cool game. And unfortunately, you know, it, it's about five, I would say about a good five hours long if you play it from start to finish, like we did four hours yesterday and an hour today. So, I mean, that's a long game. A lot of work went into that to, to push it the way it did. That's crazy. Um, Mr. Bell says, hey, Christian, how are you? Mr. Bell says, had a blackout this afternoon. Ooh. They got a fix. That's good. Oh, man. Well, at least you got it back on, Mr. Bell. That's scary. Uh, Cookie says, assuming I missed this when I went to go play a rhythm game. Oh, yes, you did. You get an ending I haven't seen before. It was interesting. Oh, PD, you got a different ending. Okay. Uh, tweet Tweet says, as we, uh, are we going to play another one? That was really cool to watch. Well, we have, uh, so we have a couple options. Uh, we have Simula, I have Simulacra 2, which is the next one. Or um, that is kind of like a choose your own ending thing. So we could play the game again. And, uh, try to choose different options to get a different outcome. I don't know uh, what's interesting to everybody. 
I'm going to put the screen up, but I'll be, uh, I'll be here. I just got to open my next Diet Coke here. <sighs> okay. So. What do you guys think? If you guys didn't see the first part yesterday, that might be interesting. Um, I don't know how much it changes, though. It could be pretty close. I think we should move on to two because that's kind of like your ending. You got blind playthrough. So you should take it in stride with number two. Okay, I get it. Let me pull up number two and see if it... Uh... Let me stop number one. Let me see if number two is loaded. Oh, number two is loaded. Why does it still say it's running? And why does it say I've played Simulacra for 20 hours? I didn't play the first. Do you think it took over my computer and it was playing when I wasn't here? All right, let me, uh, let me exit out of Steam and reboot it because It was not shutting down right. All right, here we go. Da 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 do 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 do. From what I've seen, the only difference is really after the voice shows up, depending on what choices you made. Oh, I got you. Okay, so let's go to the second one. Simulacra 2. Play. Ooh, I don't know which uh, sound this goes over. Let me make sure I got the sound up. Ooh, this is a different. Okay. Can you hear it? Oh, wow, that's way louder. Hold on. Okay, there we go. That one's a little louder. All right, so this is Simulacra 2. Simulacra 2. I know, this music is scary AF, I tell you what. Pick a language, English. Okay, here we go. I'll have to adjust the sound in a little bit because the background music is really loud. Simulacra 2. Okay, everything looks good. Begin. Choose how your journey begins. Okay, are we gonna wear a trench coat or... God, I feel like I'm screaming. Are we gonna wear a trench coat or a... Uh, uh, some sort of a denim shirt with a camera. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Trench coat. You're a junior detective and a hardcore skeptic. Or you're a tabloid reporter and frights are your beat. Yeah, I think junior detective. Would be good. Don't poke your nose in that. 
No, I don't care if you're on overtime. Just fix the damn thing. Damn plumbers. So you keep saying you're ready for the big stuff. Well, today's your lucky day. Awards won't get you respect. Look, you're the only one around this whole damn place I can trust. Everyone else is too set in their way of thinking. This is a secret operation, so you keep your mouth shut. Anyone finds out about this and our careers are toast. Okay. Turn I like your, your flat on top. The station and alone. I'll give you more instructions soon. I wish I could say it's a matter of life and death, but uh, I'm afraid it's more than that. Don't screw this up. This is spooky. Simulacra 2. Ah! Detective Murillo! That was from the first one, remember Detective Murillo? I need your help. Okay, this lady's lips are way misaligned. She has two pairs of lips. Okay, uh, Warden. Oh, here we go, comms. Oh, we got the police comms. All right, here we go. Hello, testing. Private channel open, secured with end-to-end -end encryption. Test, test, great, it works. I got a fresh murder case that's way over my head. I need your help. This is above my pay grade, but you're a senior officer. Even old dogs get stumped, kid. The chief closed the case in less than a week, said it was an open and shut accidental death. They just want to hit this month's quota instead of doing proper job. What a disgrace. That's terrible. You've seen how bad the budget cuts are. Even our emergency hotline's a joke. And the chief will do anything to get more funding, even if it means padding up our track record with solved cases. I need the case reopened by force if necessary. So I borrowed the only evidence I need, the victim's phone, which you have right now. You stole evidence? Are you illiterate? I just said I borrowed it. The investigation was a whole load of incompetent police work. Slipshot evidence collection, bad interviewing practices. I don't even know why they bothered. My gut told me to look further, and this phone proves me right. Who was the victim? All right, PD, I have to go to sleep. We'll see you later, PD. Her name was Maya. We received an anonymous call of a disturbance at her apartment. Responding officer found her dead. Don't you think that was too convenient a tip-off? I really feel there has been foul 
play here. Any evidence to support your theory? The manner of death doesn't add up. That video she left seems like she knew something bad was going to happen. Have you seen it? I haven't. Take a look at it. Okay. Uh, oh, that is way ready? out of focus. Getting plays, getting plays, okay? Uh -huh. And... Okay, on, let's go for it, let's go for it. Getting close, getting close. In three, two, one... To new beginnings! beginnings! There's no light. I'm not sure if that went off. Mm -hmm. Should I Should I go check it? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, give me a moment, right, give me a right, moment. Right, no, okay, go. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it. Oh, sorry, that was on video. <laughs> wait, 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 I got this, I got this. Okay. She is dumb. All right, here we go. Hi, namaste, you guys. She has a tongue piercing. That's really strange. You guys see that? Yeah, it's Huh. Okay. This is all my fault. I saw all the signs, but I just wrote them off. It was just so much easier to believe that I was just imagining things. I didn't know it would get this bad. I knew it was gonna be dangerous. I felt it. Why are you sitting with the light? Ah! I feel it coming for me. And I think it's watching me. And I think it wants to hurt me. Or worse. I have to stop this thing. Before it's too late. Oh my god, look at that picture. Scary. Maya distressed. Clue found. A self-recording of Maya looking distressed. Something seems to be coming for her, and she blames herself for it. Okay. Looks like someone or something was stalking her. Anything stick out to you? She looks distressed. Excellent observation. Care to put a little more effort? <laughs> She's worried about someone hurting her. A stalker or an enemy, maybe. Look at how she's twitching. She didn't feel safe in her own damn house. Reminds me of some of my stranger cases. What strange cases? Unexplained deaths and mysterious disappearances. That one time someone got possessed by their phone. I'm assigning you to the Department of Obscure Phenomenon. A discreet team within the force solving cases involving the supernatural and the unknown. Dupe? Really? Damn it. Never mind the name. It's just us both on this, so we have to work fast. First thing to restore the phone. How do I do that? I know, I, f I feel like I was able to like kind of relax a bit, so my heart rate went down. 
I was hoping you could answer that. I'm not good with new technology, so I was hoping you can finish what I started. I installed an app there called Warden. It scans existing files to recover lost or corrupted information in phones. Ah, I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. We need to restore the data on Maya's phone. Okay. System restore. A corrupted photo has crashed the system. During a recent attempt. Oh, hold on. Just remembered, you might find this manual useful. Uh, since the department is pinching pennies, I'll be conducting this training manual for our new app. It's called, uh, uh, never mind, you know what I'm talking about. This app is a powerful data recovery tool and clue detection tool. It does this by encrypting uh, Blowfish, which is, uh, wait, a uh, cryptology. Uh, what is important is this app can scan pieces of information and offer us new pieces of information. You just click here on this button to start a scan and the results will pop in this space here. You can then sort through the recovered data to find possibly crucial evidence for your case. To exit just press the home button here. As you can see, this simple but sophisticated technology will help the force do our jobs better and faster. I look like an idiot. <laughs> The dude. <laughs> okay, that was fun. This explains nothing. <laughs> we might have a problem if you're worse at technology than I am. Just get on with it. We're on the clock here. Okay. Oh, a corrupted photo. We need a corrupted photo. All right. What do we got here? Looking for a fucked up photo. Jeez, look at her. Look at these. Oh, she was kind of a... Oh, here we go. This photo is corrupted and cannot be deleted from the factory reset restore point created. Close. Okay, so now let's go back. And let's do the restore. Reconstruct with this photo. There we go. Please wait while we restore your device. Do not switch off while restoration is in progress. Good job, kid. Oh, jeez. Looks like some of the phone's data and information is being restored. Just keep doing this and we will find something in no time. Are you spying on me? As your supervisor, it is my duty. I can see whatever Warden recovers. So I can get up to speed immediately. 
You need to know the details of the crime scene as well. It's all in the case file. Am I going to the crime scene? I'm not risking this covert operation by having you trampling all over the crime scene. I'll give you access to the police database. You'll find everything you need there. I don't think I have clearance. Give me a moment. Okay, clearance granted. Ah, oh, thanks. Get it from Warden. Goddamn plumbers and their stupid questions, I've gotta go. Get your homework done before I get back. Okay, so we've got Surfer, Kimura, Jabber, Media, Phone, Chats, Mail, and Warden. All right, we got the case file. Transcription, Road Accidents, City Records. First and last name required. I don't know the first and last name. So I'm gonna find that. Ooh, maybe I can look at her jabber. Ah, Maya Crane, Maya Crane. Maya Rain. What? Oh, it's a cold closed case. Oh, damn it. Did this just happen? October. Document found. Yes, National Police Catalog, powered by Iris Corp. Da, 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 Preliminary compilation of investigation by West Bandrika PD. Case file G31 298. Deceased Crane Maya, age 25, sex, female. Occupation Entertainer. Date of birth 7 May 94. Date of death 21 October 2019. Autopsy report by the district medical examiner. Number 0912G, photo attached. Holy shit, look at her face. All right. Yikes. Anatomical summary. Number one, facial tears. Multiple faint scars across the face, leading all the way to the top and back of the head. As a whole, these scars appear to form a pattern. Number two, facial tears. Scars were deep and extremely thin. Blood vessels around the affected areas were cauterized, possibly explaining the absence of bleeding at the time of death. No other visible burn injuries present. Number four, head injuries. Or number three, head injuries. Slight bruise on the back of the head, suggesting that the deceased collapsed to the ground from an upright position. Number four, heart tears. Tears in muscle tissue around the heart resembling spontaneous coronary artery dis dissection. Cause of this tearing is undetermined. Notes, procedures. The manner of death seems to be sudden in nature. The deceased possibly experienced a momentary loss of control or consciousness before collapsing on the ground, likely due to the sudden strain on her heart. 
The injuries around the face could not be determined. Cause of death, cardiac arrest. Dr. Arello Cohen, MD, Deputy Chief Medical Examiner. Preliminary interviews, transcript number 5286, status compiled. Date of interview, 22 October 2019. Witness, Mrs. Trench, open. Preliminary interview. Witness, Mrs. Tench. Status approved. Officer on duty, Miss Trench is T, officer on duty is O. This interview has been edited for clarity. Good day, ma'am. Oh my, what is going on? Is that Maya's apartment? Yes, she was found dead this morning. Goodness, what happened? That's what we're here for. Did you see or hear anything last night? Pardon? Did you see or hear anything last night? Sorry, dear. These old eyes and ears are not what they used to be. I can barely hear you right now. Can you please repeat your question? Ah, uh, it's okay, ma'am. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Wow, I gave up pretty easy on that one. All right. All right. Transcript number 5287, not compiled. Please search manually. What? 5288, not compiled. Uh, 5289, not compiled. All right. Uh, evidence collected. Status compiled. She got messed up. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, item number one, quantity one, 15 inch laptop model 81398 found connected to a webcam. Item number two, one, 2K webcam model C290 found connected to a laptop. Item number three, quantity one, DSLR full frame camera model alpha 200. Item number four, Quantity, one, unknown device, plastic casing with three antennas. Looks like a self-made signal booster to modify Wi-Fi or phone signals. Item number five, quantity one, Polaroid photo of victim and three acquaintances. Item number six, quantity one, a mobile phone model A1901. Item number seven, quantity one, hair strands of various lengths, all brunette. One of them is dyed purple. Item number eight, quantity one, various shoe imprints near the entrance. One of it is one of is men's shoes. Item number nine, quantity one, guitar pick. No other musical instruments present in the, in the house. Chain of custody. One, bagged at the crime scene by Detective Morillo. Two, sent to evidence room for further processing. End of document. Okay, yeah, she got messed up. Look at that. Oh, damn, that looks bad. All right. Ah! Whoa! She opened her eyes. Oh shit, I don't remember the case file. Now that was creepy. Okay, case file is G31-298. 31298. 31298 31298 31298 31-298 Oh fuck, I don't remember the transcript number. 5188 Jesus. I'm going to have to get a... Hold on. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to get my notes out. I gotta take notes on this shit. I can't remember all this. Okay, I got my notes out. So we've got case number G31-298. We are looking for transcript number... What the hell was that? Did you guys hear that or was that me? Jesus. We're looking for 5287. Five, two, eight, eight, and five, two, eight, nine. Okay. G three one dash two nine eight. It is an interview and it's transcript five two. Eight seven. All right, there we go. Preliminary interview case file witness Miss Aria Park. Oh, it's pending approval. Hello, Aria Park. Hello, Aria Park. This is her. Who is this? This is Officer Beck from West Brandica PD. I have a few questions for you. Um, okay, what is this about? What is your relation to Maya Crane? We work together doing social media stuff. Why? What happened? I am afraid to tell you that Maya was found dead this morning. Miss? Sorry, I I'm just... I'm at a loss. Oh my God, what happened? We're working on it. The reason I'm calling is because we found hair samples at the scene of the crime. One of them is dyed purple, and it matched a picture of you we found on Maya. You've been to her apartment recently? Not recently, no. I've been there many times, though, with some friends. We all work together. Maya's place was like a hub for us. I still can't believe she's dead, loud sob. Please, officer, Maya is one of my best friends. You have to get to the bottom of this. We will, ma'am. Just one more quest. Do you have any suspects? What else did you find? Are you bringing me in for questioning? You need to meet, read me my rights for that, right? Uh, p please, ma'am, we're, we're just going through procedures. I can't discuss anything right now, but I will let you know if anything comes up. Okay, sorry, I, I'm, just, I'm just floored right now. I understand. Where were you on October 21st? I was uh, working, tidying up my resume. Boring stuff like that. I see. Were you in contact with Maya before? Hang on a second, officer. But am I a suspect? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm just, I already told you I wasn't there, and you keep asking me questions, so am I a suspect or not? No, ma'am, uh, just protocol that I talk to. If I'm not a suspect, can I please go? My best friend just died, and I need to process this. I don't think I'm in the mood to answer any questions, if that's not too much to ask. Uh, understood. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. If you have anything to share, please don't hesitate to contact WBPD. Thank you. I hope you figure it out soon. Well, that bitch is flighty. Aria Park is a suspect. All right, let's look for the next one. All right, here we go. This one's pending approval. Mr. Rex Keegan. Phone interview. What up, Rex speaking? Good day, Rex. This is Officer Beck from West Brandica PD. Do you have a moment? 
I don't got all day, so make it quick, yeah? Do you know Maya Crane? Yeah. What about her? We found her dead this morning. Ah, like dead dead? Yes, sir. How do you know Maya? Uh, we work together. Influencer, promotion stuff. I share my network and contacts with her. You know, this and that. This and that? Oh, you know, just mentions like, it's hard to explain, but you get what I mean, right? Is she really, really dead? Like, did you check? Uh, yes, we are quite certain she's dead. The reason I'm contacting you is because some of some shoe prints found at the scene. Based on photographic evidence, the prints appear to be yours. Care to explain? Come on, man, we work together. I've been there loads of times. I've got witnesses. Were you there recently? I haven't seen Maya for like weeks, maybe a month. Must be old prints, you know. But if you want to know when else I was there, I can try to figure it out. I was there last, last, last thir Tuesday. Wait, maybe it's a Thursday. Crap, which day does that Mexican finished food truck open? Sir? No, Wednesday. The game was on before I left. No, that can't be right. Sir, please. Definitely Wednesday. I remember because it was raining that morning. I'm pretty sure. Sir? Expletive. Wait, does being just outside her door count? I dropped off some uh, hard drives for her. She wasn't home, so I didn't really go into the house, you know. That was the last, last. Sir, please, thank you for being so thorough. But I just need one more question and then we'll be done. All right, okay, go for it. What were you doing on the 21st? I was reading in my line of work. Got to be up to date. Got to read, got to learn, you know. Thank you. That's all I need. If there was anything we need to know, we will call you. In the meantime, don't leave town. Right. Gotcha. Don't leave town. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, she's 100%. They're both 100% of suspects right now. All of her friends are really iffy. All right, here we go. Pending approval, Miss Mina Da Silva. Hello. Good day, Miss Da Silva, I presume. Speaking. I'm calling about Maya Crane. You know her? Yes, she's my manager, like my social media manager. What's wrong? Am I in trouble? Not at the moment, ma'am. I called to inform you that we found Maya dead this morning. Ah, what? Ma'am, please, your volume. <laughs> no, 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 Maya. What happened to her? We are investigating it at this moment. Mr. Silva, please calm down. She's gone. She's really gone. Oh, no, no, no. Please, Mr. Silva, we need your help. Stay strong for me, okay? I just need your help with some questions, and I will be on my way, okay? Okay. I found a guitar pick at the crime scene. I saw some photos of you playing the guitar at Maya's residence, and it looks like you had a similar pick. Could you have left one at her house? Yes, it's probably mine. I usually keep them on, in my pocket and they tend to fall out. I have tons of picks, so I don't even miss them. Were you there lately? No, not lately. I've been there many times, though. Maya was so sweet and kind. How did this happen? Sorry, miss. I'm having trouble hearing you. Oh, God, I'm such a mess. <laughs> Ma'am, I understand this is difficult for you, but you got to do this one last question for me, all right? After that, leave the rest to us, okay? Okay. On the 21st October, care to share what you were doing that night? I was uh, um, writing a song. Just writing. Oh, God, Maya. Maya. It's all right, ma'am. It's all right. We're done. I know this is hard on you, but did, you did really well. 
Thank you so much for your help. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to call us, okay? Thanks. Thank you so much. It's just so overwhelming, you know. I understand. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Let's go see what Detective Murillo says. I presume that you're done with the files. Anything in there looks normal to you? Uh, what the heck happened to her face? <laughs> It's our job to figure out. I can't tell if those are lacerations or scars on her face. Never seen anything like it. Vampires? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Vampires leave bite marks on the neck. <laughs> Anyways, those markings are not the cause of death. Looks like old scars, but from what? No signs of forced entry, too. Uh, cause of death? Did you even read the damn report? Coroner, coroner pinned it as cardiac arrest of undetermined origin. What about CCTV? Just our luck. Some interference fried the apartment's entire network. Funny thing. Same kind of interference we saw on Maya's video, just weaker. As of now, nothing we have from the crime scene leads to anything substantial. Our best lead is still the phone. There is still more we do not know. I can feel it. You sound very sure there's more on the phone. Maya's entire life is in there. Her being an influencer means that she must document it neatly, too. That makes it a great source. I need your tenacity for this job. Every scrap of information on that phone is possible evidence. So make sure to recover all the data you can. Okay. Oh, we got some chats. Uh, Jason, you blocked this content. Hi there, Maya. Jason here. Not sure if you remember me, but we did that Holy Holistic Spa shoot together. Just dropping a line to say hi. Oh, hi. How's it going? Looks like you're rising up the Chimera ranks, huh? Always knew you had it. You were like one of the few people on the genuine, on that genuinely believed in her work. I'm good, and thanks. Okay, did I, like, piss you off or something? I know I'm not a big name in the fitness scene or anything, but i just trying to network to change that, you know? And I thought you were one of the friendly ones. Oh, my God, I'm sorry, Jason. I just, I've been getting so many strange messages from people now. Strange? Strange strangers. Like, these people think that just because they follow me, they're, like, my best friend or something. Yeah, I get it. You know, I once had a girl who kept pestering me, and she was just cluttering my posts with these gross, cutesy things and sending things to my house. No idea how she got my address. When I told her to stop, she sent me a long letter in red ink, except I realized it wasn't ink at all. Blood? Well, at least the cops have her DNA on file now. Haha, <laughs> oh my god. How do you stay so cool with things like this? Just got to take it as it comes. Part of the job, right? We can exchange more stories over coffee sometime. <laughs> Not sure if I want to relive all of this in real life. Sure this won't change your mind? Oh no, a deleted dick pic. Oh, really? I do not want to see your that. If you're looking to hook up, I'm not that kind of girl. Wait, can I undelete this picture? Don't pretend to be your thirst trap. All that tight yoga gear you keep showing off in front of thousands of people. Well, at least I'm straightforward about it. How can you say no to a package of that size, huh? <laughs> you mean literal exercise clothes? Also, go to hell. And you blocked. All right, Harry, body combat. 
Hey, Harry, I won't be able to make our session this Monday. I accidentally double booked. A friend needs to see me, and it's urgent, so I need to reschedule. I have someone who needs to see you urgently this Monday, too. Super important. Who is it? Me. Ha, ah, thanks. Sorry, my friend had my phone, and he typed that. He's so weird. I don't know why he did that. No need to reschedule. We'll work, we'll work harder next session. Cool? Yeah, that works. We'll work harder on your pickup lines, too. Ouch. It's what my friend would have said uh, if he still had my phone. I'll tell him. Okay, I'll stop talking now. All right. Oh, we've got this. You blocked this contact. Is this Maya Crane? Yes. Just because you're famous doesn't mean you're not another stupid, dumb slut. Who the hell do you think you are giving other people fitness advice when you are discussing land will yourself? Just shut up or I'm going to come over to your house, cut your tongue out, and make you choke on it slowly and painfully. Okay, this guy is sus right here. Good morning, Maya. Hope you had a great week ahead. Have a great week ahead. Hi and thanks. Sorry if I'm being rude, but I don't seem to have your number saved on my phone. Who is this? Oh, I just keyed in your number randomly. What? Wait, how do you know my name? Stares shyly at the ground. Okay, I lied. I'm just a huge fan and you're such an inspiration to me. I've seen every single thing you've posted, every post. So, um, hi. Where did you get my number from? Ponders over whether to snitch. I'm ending this convo now. Rex. It was Rex, okay? I paid for one of his classes because I knew he knows you. Adjusts collar and blushes nervously. I just feel like I really know you. You're so beautiful. I think we're soulmates. Okay, look, I'm flattered, but I'm not interested. Aw, okay, if you really feel that way. Slinks off quietly. Can you please stop with the creepy asterisk? Pauses. No. Straights, uh, straights up his back and speaks louder. No, I am one of the best guys you'll ever meet. I know how to treat you right like the princess that you are, and no other man will do anything for you like I would. Grabs your head and places it on his chest. Just accept my wild beating heart, my love. This is insane. You know nothing about me. I'm saying bye now. Ugh. You're just like all those other whores parading themselves for thirsty men on crime camera. Don't come running up to me once all of those chads use you up and chuck you aside. Just die, bitch. Okay, bye. I hope you're happy reaping on my freaking heart, you, you, you heartless witch. You could be sorry when I kill myself. And then, and then we'll see how many people will think you're such a great star, huh? Oh, Jesus. Blocked. Okay, I've got a lot of crazy fans. Mina! Let's see what Mina says. Hi, Mina. Sorry for replying so late. So, I thought about it, and I'm in. You'll be my first ever client. First thing, I'm, singing, I'm signing you on for an awesome group boosting service. You're going to be a star. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for officially being my manager. I feel like the real deal now. I'll follow all of your advice. You're gonna be like, my sensei. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. See you next week. Uh, Maya? Like, it might be a tech issue, but a song I uploaded got removed. I removed it. What? Why? Until you get a hang of managing your brand? Every game, everything goes through me first, okay? This isn't fair. You don't like own me, okay? Mina, I did it for your own good. You're giving me so much anxiety right now. Stop trying to control me. I'm not your pupper. Puppet. Okay, just relax and you'll see I'm right soon. It's all going to pay off. No, I don't believe this. I hate you. You're horrible. I can't wait till I get a real manager and then I don't have to like I don't have to like follow your stupid instructions. It's not like you're doing so great yourself right now, too. Um, Maya, I'm sorry. 
That was really mean. I shouldn't have said that. I just get like really emotional because like I'm totally, I totally care about what you think. Please don't hate me. I got it. I got it. I got it. Did I say I got it? Thank you so much, Maya. Your advice really worked. The last time I auditioned, they kept telling me I got the talent but lacked the X Factor. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> but who cares? I did what you said and they booked me on the spot. I'm scheduled for next month. So please come, okay? That's fantastic. Told you I was right about the branding. Um, Maya? Can you try talking to Arya and Rex to get off my back and let me do my own thing? Like, just let me breathe? I feel like they're just so... so condescending all the time. It's like... It's like really tiring to deal with. I mean, I, I know they're older than me and stuff, but... I'm not a kid, okay? Sigh. So Mina, you really need to learn how to stand up for yourself. I can't fight all your battles for you. I know. And anyway, they mean well. We don't want you making the same mistakes we did. Better hearing it from us than others, right? I guess so. I got to, like, be more assertive. I'll try. That's the spirit. Oh, by the way, your last post? I'm not crazy about that picture. Think you can change it to something a bit more edgy? Like, look away from the camera and scowl or something. Um, okay. Oh no, Mina, I'm so sorry. I completely blanked and forgot about tonight. Did the show go okay? <sighs> I've been dropping the ball on everything. I've just been so tired, you know? I feel like I've been seeing... Never mind. I'll make it up to you soon, okay? It's okay. You were here with me in spirit. Um... Maya, so I tried something new on Kamira. Let me know if it's okay. Maya, everything okay? Are you like doing a gray rock on me right now? Fine. I'm sorry you know I didn't mean that. Hope you are like all right. Hi, Maya. Um, are you ignoring me or something? Did, did, did I do something wrong to annoy you? I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. You're not leaving us, are you? It's just that you're the best at keeping the gang going. And I need you to be around. Together. Hmm. All right, let's see what Rex want. Hey, Rex is checking in. You think we can get into the jabber thing? Yo, yeah, yeah. I can get you into that networking dinner. Those guys owe me. As a plus, I'll even explain all the complicated marketing terms to you, because I'm a swell guy. But make it obvious you're not my date. Don't cockblock me, all right? Gross. Major eye roll, Mr. Casanova. I really doubt girls are falling at your feet when you look older than my dad, okay? And trust me, that weird car you have is not helping. Now's not a good time, all right? I'm trying to get these douches to explain why I showed up to an almost empty hall. My talks used to be a full house kind of deal, so what the hell is this bullshit? I even paid for ads this time. I know I had eyeballs on those, so why isn't it translating into numbers? Oh, sorry. Okay, remember my idea? I really think it's going to solve all of that for you. Trust me on this. Just give me a call later. Yeah, yeah, fine. This better be good. Man, can't believe I joined some girl group. Ah, uh, don't be a spoil sport. I'm only doing this because of you, all right? And ah, uh, thanks for sticking up for me with that nutso group. That's what friends do. Yeah, well, my last so-called friend almost got me locked away for life. That mofo bastard. We'll never do that to you, Rex. Pinky promise. You know, I'll look out for you. Yeah, fine. I'll admit it. It's pretty sweet to have a team that's got my back, all right? Don't get too excited. I'm a lone alpha wolf. I can handle flying solo just fine. But I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, it's, you know, nice. Not everyone's out to screw you over. 
Anytime, friend. Yo, so I looked up your noise issue. I think your old ass gear is just picking up all sorts of interference. Or, you know, it could be aliens. So, you think it's just interference on my speakers? Are those like radio waves? Okay, that kind of makes sense. It's just kind of scary to hear voices from nowhere. And no, it's definitely not my meditation chance. Guess I'll try cutting out my sleep music then. Also, you follow up on that client deal yet? Oh, right. Sorry. A lot of crazy stuff has been happening. Hey, get your head in the game, all right? This isn't some happy, clappy friendship pack we're running a business here. Point taken. You can stop nagging now. Man, don't give me that. Are you trying to kill the group off? Oh my god, are you still mad over that ad I did for Patrick? Since you brought it up, yes. You can't do my promo vid, but totally jumped on that loser's crap thing. I told you it just sort of happened. I already apologized. You best remember I don't need any of you, right? I can drop I can drop you tomorrow and be just okay. Wow, go ahead then. The second I get something better, you bet your ass I will. Dude, you on some dumbass retreat? Just hit me up soon, all right? Maya, are you just going to keep ignoring me? Just be straight up. You don't have to hide from me. I'm not going to bite. If you can't handle the pressure or this thing's really not working out, let's just hash it out like adults. Like adults. Adults indeed. All right, got to open up another Diet Coke here. All right, here we go. Oh, what's a scam? Rex Keegan, message from Rex. I can drop you tomorrow and be just okay. The second I get something better, you bet your ass I will. Rex is spat with Maya. Rex vents his frustration at working with Maya and says that he has no issues moving on from the group. Okay. Ooh, I thought one of those things popped up in one of these other ones, didn't it? Or is that just me? I forgot I had to click on those things. I guess not. All right, Chrissy. All right, here we go. Hi, Maya. This is Chrissy here. Remember me? We met at the Jabro Networking Night. Just getting in touch because I'm such a fan. I would love to collaborate one day or just be like, you know, friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chrissy. I'm sorry uh, if I spelt that wrong. Wow. That was some night. I don't really remember talking to you. But I'm always up for a collab with a fellow creator. What's your Chimera account again? Actually, I don't really post anything on my account. Oh, just starting out? That's okay. You just have to start with one post and keep at it. Actually, I contact you because you didn't reply my email. I thought it was really rude, like you can't even reply to your fans. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it anymore. I followed all your advice and your stupid tips and everything, and you can't even be bothered to talk to me. You should go kill yourself, you stupid, stupid head. Stupid head, okay. I'm going to block you now because you're not good for my mental health. What the heck? Oh, typical. All right, Aria. Oh my God, one non-vegan burger and everyone's losing their minds. I was hungry. There was nothing else to eat. Am I supposed to starve? What the hell? Hey girl, just saw your text. Look, trolls are gonna troll. So don't let it get to you. All these people, 
They're just jealous of us because they wish their lives were as fab as ours, okay? So you really just have to stop worrying about what others think of you. Yeah, don't be eating a burger and you're vegan. Jeez. Ah, you're right. It's so annoying. So annoying. Hi, I know you've been real busy, but I need someone to talk to. I've been working my ass off, but my numbers are still dropping like crazy. Some shiny new airhead comes along and everyone just leaves me for them. Tweet, tweet, you think so? I don't know how I'm going to make rent if this goes on like this. Anyway, call me when you can, okay? Oh no, it's really that bad? Yeah, it's complete bullshit. You would not believe what this marketing guy told me the other day. Our audience can't relate to someone as old as you. I'm 26, what the fuck? Maybe you should just talk to your parents. I'm sure they'll help you out if they knew. Ha, huh, you must be joking. I think they'd formally disown me at this point if they can be bothered to sign the papers. Hey, if it helps, you know I believe in you, right? You've always been a fighter, Arya. I wish I was half as brave as you are. Haha, <laughs> sure, brave, but thanks. Join me for a gallon of wine and a, a bad dirty dancing? Haha, <laughs> sure, bestie. And you can tell me all about your weird spark date. Taylor, was it? He sounds like a creep. Yeah, he kept trying to get me to go to some rooftop somewhere. But I got something important to, to discuss, too. It might fix our problems for good. Maya, we need to talk. I thought we agreed that I was going to do the yoga retreat post first. Oh, sorry. The moment just felt right, so I went with it. Oh, my God, Maya. Why do you keep undermining me like this? Even with the group, it's like nothing I say matters anymore. Sometimes I wish that you just detox yourself out of existence. Oh, God. Where is all this coming from? Forget it. That was what I was thinking, working with someone who thinks they can feed off crystal energy. That was a really low blow. You know what's low? Your friggin' self-centered bullshit. This group is your way of trying to control people and pretend you're some kind of messiah or something. Me? If anyone is selfish and manipulative, it's you. It's been that way since college. You think I don't know what you say about me behind my back? Like when you told Lee that I had herpes because you couldn't stand it that he asked me out instead of you? Oh, here we go. Sometimes I wish that you would detox yourself. Oh, uh, uh, I have some animosity towards my, okay. Sorry, I keep forgetting that little button. Uh, so, oh my God, let it go already. So much for love and light when you're keeping grudges from eons ago. I'm just going to let you cool off, okay? Do whatever the hell you want. I'm better off keeping this arrangement purely professional. Hey, Maya. Are you okay? I haven't heard from you in a while. You haven't ditched me now that you're all famous, right? <laughs> okay, but seriously, I have been a bit worried about you. Just want to let you know that you can give me a shout if you need a chat. Okay? Hey. Yes, I'm fine, I think. Maybe we can have another girls' night out soon. I need to get out of the house. Things have been really weird. Sure, let me know, Kay. Okay. All right, I, I found that you have to scroll to get that little purple thing. So let me try again here. I just got to make sure we don't miss one of those purple thingies. Sorry if everyone's seen this already. Because I think what it does is it puts it in the evidence, Billy. So I thought I saw one somewhere. Uh, oh, there it was. There it was. Oh, right there. Mina says, I hate you. You're horrible. Overbearing behavior and express her hatred for Maya. Okay, there we go. I think we already did Rex's. Uh, 
Okay, I think we're good now. All right, new beginnings. You created the group, The Big Plan. You added Aria, Mina, and Rex. Uh, tweet Tweet says, yeah, they all have this tone and hyperactive. I think there's one person controlling a bunch of accounts. Gotcha. Mina, so Aria, so Rex, so me, so <laughs> it's official. We're a team now. Do you guys think we should have a team name? Like all the big collectives on Chimera, Chimera do, do it? LMAO, this isn't high school, Mina. And we got to be like everyone else. I think it's a fun idea since we're friends now. Being part of a group doesn't make us automatic friends. I would say no to, how do I put this? Friendlier relations. Maybe I will introduce my foot to your face. Cut it out, Rex. Anyway, Mina's right. Fans eat it up when their faves get together, especially when they're all besties, you know. Having a name would sell that. Rex changed the group name to Rex as Rangers. Done and done. Seriously? What's next? Color-coded spandex suits? Yeah, well, yeah, well, you got anything better, Chica? Something non-poultry, even? Shut up. If we're going to have a name, it should be fierce. Something people are jealous they aren't a part of. Like fame fatale or aesthetic. Those sound really intimidating. Precisely, so everyone will know not to mess with us. Are you trying to alienate people? How about the kind of collective? The kind collective. Nice work, like network. Support hive. The pronounce the last one as supportive. We get it. You own a thesaurus. You change the group name to New Beginnings. It's from this poem. By my favorite poet, Lexa Costas. The quote from this piece, it hits close to home for me. New Beginnings. New Beginnings by Lexa Costas. These tears are not mine. They are not made of my body, my soul. They belong to the girl I once was. These are not my tears of sadness or remorse, for she is celebrating new beginnings that await her. Lame. No, just kidding. I like it. I think it's a perfect description for us. That's beautiful, Maya. Rather cliche, but I suppose cliche does sell. To new friends and new beginnings. God, are you always this chirpy? Oh, I can't wait for the co commotion this will cause. Good to see everyone getting along. We're finally getting our big breaks. You, yo, anyone showing up for the network sesh tonight? Think we can, oh. Okay. Uh, think we can get some real pull from this? I'll be there. Uh, can you stop? I'm trying to read. Stop it. I think I'll be there. I'll be there after my gig. Thanks, Rex. Ooh, I thought I missed the jabber thing. But you're all gonna be there too, right? I hate going for these things alone. Everyone's so fake. So if it gets too much, I can chill with you guys. <laughs> I think I'll have to skip it. I'm so behind work. Clients. Br Stop it! Stop! Stop! I can't read the last one. I'm falling behind. I think I've had clients breathing down my neck. Fill it in shortly, okay? Error, unrecoverable chat history. Okay, now we got a new message today. Stop it. Oh my God. Phones don't do this. Do they? I can't. Nobody read this until I get to scroll up. Um, did the cops contact anyone again? Ah! 
Why? They poking around? You tell them anything? No, just asking. Feel super weird without Maya here. Oh my god, stop this. We only talk in person, okay? Why does my phone say that Maya's online? I see it too. Yeah, it's probably a glitch or something. Is it? Is it her ghost? Shit. Can ghosts even hold phones? What if she's sending us a message about what happened? Seriously, Mina, you really need to pull yourself together. Gotta admit, it's kind of creepy seeing her online. Just a glitch or her phone turned on by itself. That happens sometimes, right? Maybe it's some spyware or surveillance shit. You can't trust the man, man. But how does that work if the phone was wiped? Oh my God, Bina, stop talking. I'm telling you, the government spies on everyone. So why don't you just shut up so they've got nothing to spy on? I think it's Maya. I can feel her presence. Oh, good grief. And she's not happy. Or, you know, someone probs found it and turned it on, trying to mine her data or credit card info. Hey, if you're dead, who pays your debts? Wait a minute. I'm just eavesdropping. Carry on. Maya? No way. Who the hell is this? Why do you have her phone? Identify yourself now. Guys, it's me, Maya. <laughs> oh my god, Maya, you're okay. Yo, this is some screwed up prank. I'm so sorry, Maya, about everything. Mina, don't be an idiot. Whoever this is, you better fess up before I report you. I'm a detective. Oh, thank God. Not cool scaring us like that. Is this normal procedure? Would you rather prefer coming to the station? Yeah, no thanks. Uh, we've already spoken to the cops. Are we like suspects? Guys, please. Do the police have any leads so far? What do you know? I can't discuss an active investigation. But aren't we like discussing it right now? Look, dealing with this publicly has been a nightmare for us. We're still in mourning, you know. Let's get this drama over with ASAP, all right? Did any of you see her the day she died? No, she kind of ghosted us for a bit. Yeah, even with work stuff going on, we ran an influencer collective that maximized follower ROI and revolutionized content circulation. You have a layman term for that? <laughs> like we help each other do our influencing. Yeah. Everything was good till, how do you put it? Till Maya went legit cuckoo. Rex. She was a t acting kind of weird. Like she went AWOL for a few days. Did she say what happened? She said she needed time alone to decompress. Maya said she wanted to quit the business for good, but I thought she was just venting. Entrepreneurship is hard, man. Maybe she just couldn't handle it. I just said, I'm just sad she didn't tell us how stressed she was. You're saying the job pressure did her in? Like, I'm positive that's the possibility. Look, Maya always had high expectations of herself. I think that was her downfall too. Yeah, it sucks, but some people just can't be saved, you know? Is that all? Can I go now? For now. I hope you figure it out soon. Let us know if you need anything else. 
Later, Gators. All right. Okay, we're good here. Jesus. Oh my God, the picture changed and she's turned around backwards. I don't know if this is, this is creepy. I feel like something's about to jump out at me. And now the background is dark. The light went off in the background. Hmm. I tell you, this bitch better not turn around and scare me. Okay, we had a bunch of people texting or something. Oh! No, she's turning around! Oh, God, stop it. Just turn around. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we get it. Oh, my God. Enough with the... Uh... Ah! Oh my god, I almost shit myself. Ah! Oh my god, she scared the shit out of me. I knew it. What was she holding? Okay, we're back. Okay, is it just me or does this picture look creepier than it did the first time? I think I feel like it looks a little creepier. Her hand together or a flower. Yeah, she has a flower here, but I'm wondering what was going on in that last one. That was scary. I knew, I knew she was gonna scare me with turning around. Oh, I hope my heart rate didn't go over a hundred. I didn't even look. Yeah, now she has a weird smile. Okay, I just need to take a quick breather here. Okay, that seriously scared the shit out of me again. This one's even scarier than the other one. All right, let's talk to the warden real quick. Hey, warden. Oh, no, it's not warden. It's Detective Morello. I see you've been doing some questioning. Who are these people? Uh, the phone is acting weird. What? Sort of glitched out. I saw Maya, but she looked... Dead like. Dead like? She is dead. This is getting crazier by the minute. Back to the case. Who are you talking to? Her inner circle of friends. Good. You read their statements then? We found her pr their prints on Maya's apartment, but they just mean they were over there a lot. So our guys didn't bother questioning them much, idiots. Finds anything new about them? Uh, they seem very defensive. <laughs> very defensive, that's suspicious. Did they say anything about Maya? Uh, they think the work stress got to her. I don't think any sort of work would cause that level of stress. What do you think? I think they're hiding something. Seems like we are on the same page. Change of tactics. We need to attack from multiple angles. I need you to talk to them individually. What am I looking for? 
Find out who they really are and what their connection to Maya is on a professional and a personal level. Uh, they'll talk if they see Maya's corpse? Ugh. God, no. Dial it way down. <laughs> Warm them up a bit. Make it conversational. Try getting their alibis for the night Maya died, too. Keep an eye out for any slip-ups. If they have their guard down, they might accidentally reveal a bit too much. <laughs> oh. This influencer life really is something. Oh, so you've been learning more about our victim. Feels wrong looking through someone's personal stuff. Yeah, I read the case file already. Maybe later. I admire your ethics, but if it's any consolation, she's already dead. Like I said, to understand the crime, we have to really know our victim. Down to every last detail. Looks like she had some stalkers. Stalker, eh? Maybe one got a bit too obsessive. Look, I know I'm pushing you here. But even seemingly insignificant scraps of information might tell us something about this case. Just keep looking. You'll see. I'm right. Oh, yeah, the lights did go back on. That's true. Okay, let's check the up. Oh, God damn it. Activate the camera. How do you do that? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Slip of the fingers, my mistake. Okay, activate the camera. How do you do that? Jeez, look at all this. I'm spending my whole time talking to Detective Murillo. I can't do other stuff. Oh my God, look at his face. Setting up the damn camera. Okay, that guy's face that close is really scary. Need help with your camera? Shut up and get back to work. Well, quit messaging me. Shit, I'm trying to do some work here. You're sitting in the office messaging me over and over again. All right, system. Okay, oh, we got to discover this file. Reconstruct. Okay, do we have a different file? Detail of the crime scene and Maya's death. Maya's, Maya's self-preparation, a video of Maya saying she's setting up a webcam to record an impending incident. There still has to be a way to fix this, right? We're gonna have to destroy this thing we have to. We don't have a choice. I think I have it figured out. And we just need to get everybody here. Or we can get rid of this thing together. It has to work. It absolutely has to work.
if you're watching this and if we don't make it out alive. If we mess up and I don't make it out alive, please watch the webcam footage. You'll see everything that you need to see. Okay. <coughs> um. Did we watch this one? Hi, oh yeah, we did. Guys. Okay, Maya's laptop. What? Where am I at? Oh, media. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta find her login. To the laptop. Downloads, we already watched that. We looked at all the photos. Did we look at all the photos? Yoga, yoga, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we did, okay. Music, here we go. Let's listen to this one. Multicolored Lies. Too many secrets. Yeah, she did pull that out. Says something about destroying no some stuff. No thing. The world is vicious, never failed to slay. Do we have to listen to the whole song? Okay, super. Thank you. Lord. What else we got here? Just that. Okay. All right. Oh, what's the warden want? Another lead. Did she say webcam video? Keep this up and you'll be climbing the ranks in no time. Thank you, sir. We're just getting started. Okay. She recorded this just hours before she died. Looks like she predicted her own death. She was planning to gather everyone, her friends? And what was she trying to end? Hmm, possible. No way of telling if they're prints on the scene or old or new ones. This webcam footage is our best lead yet. It might reveal what she was talking about. But if it's on her laptop, damn it, I can't risk breaking into the evidence room again. Don't you kids link everything to the clouds these days? Look through her phone. There must be another way to access her laptop. Oh, I know there is. Oh, cancel it. Okay, let's get back on to it. All right, so let's see our chats here. Oh, we've got some chats going here. Aria says, we need to talk alone. I've already told you everything I know. You seem like you're the one in charge of the group. Someone has to take the lead, but I'm not sure how I can help. Do I need a lawyer for this conversation? We're just talking. It's never just talking with the cops, though. Can we please just get this over with so I can go back to my life?
Were you too close? We were. But I can't even mourn her in peace right now. Everything is falling apart and I have to pretend everything's fine. Work has been stressful enough as it is. Um, what's falling apart? My entire career from the looks of it. My Chimera account is going down and I'm not sure why. As devastated as I am right now, I still have to craft the perfect rest and peace response for my followers. Otherwise, my performance will tank even further. So it is all fake? Of course not. I'm authentic in my own way. Your followers can make or break you in an instant. You have to keep them happy at all times, and that means making sacrifices. How far would you go to please them? Honestly, whatever it takes. It's a never ending race to stay relevant. Work doesn't feel like work when you love your job. So for most of us, the pressure is worth it. Were you working the night Maya died? I was recording a video makeup tutorial. Maybe work strain is the real killer here. Weren't you working on your resume? Ha, ah, I must have mixed up my dates. You're right, that was my resume day. See, overworking can mess you up. She was always overdoing it. With her lifestyle, who knows what kind of supplements she was popping. Maybe she dropped dead and uh, she seems healthy. Why do you know at all? She kind of supplements. I'm just putting the pieces together, okay? Isn't that your job? Ara seems to know where Maya's body was found, despite denying the knowledge of Maya's death. Are you done? Because I am. I'd like to get back to my shoot now. Anything else you want to share? I'll let you know if anything comes to mind. Glad to be of help. All right. Let's uh, see Rex. Maya. Are you just going to keep ignoring? Oh, we already read that. I've got more. We need to talk alone. God, why you got to use Maya's number? Almost killed me there. Haha, <laughs> get it. Now's no time for jokes. You must be fun at parties. Anyway, Mr. Officer, time is money. So shoot those questions. You sound important. In this economy? Hell yeah, I am. Gotta rethink my workflow now that with Maya gone, figure out a new career plan. Problems keep piling up on me. What problems? Let me break it down. Less followers equals big problems. Where were you when Maya died? Editing my videos. Gotta give my people what they want. Me. But it says here you were reading. The cops can't record my calls, can they? I mean, I was reading and editing. I can multitask. So my theory? Maya went on some bullshit detox self-care trip. Whatever. And she got upset and croaked. Uh, wild guess? 
my theories tend to be accidentally on point. Rex appears to hint at Maya's unique facial injuries, despite denying knowledge of how Maya died. Uh, wild guess. My theories tend to be accidentally on point, all right? I'm a visionary. I know you're playing detective, but let me just say, Maya being dead means business is bad for everyone, especially me. Always thinking of profits, huh? Gotta be practical. No point making an emo drama out of things. Okay, time's up. You need anything else? I could have made 7800 bucks in these few minutes of talking to you. We'll be in touch. He is a liar and a farad. That's correct. Wrap it up fast, will you? All right, let's talk to Mina. We need to talk. Oh? Should we text the group too? Let's keep this between us. Um, okay. Am I in trouble, detective? I just want to hear your side of the story. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I can't help thinking like I could have helped her somehow. It's so sad that she died alone. Um, how are you coping? Not my first time dealing with death. But I'm used to putting all that pain into my art. She believed in me from the start, you know. I was struggling to get anyone to listen to me, but she heard me. She helped me change my look and maybe made me who I am today. Sounds like you owe a lot to her. All of us do. She taught me a lot about this business. Your follower numbers matter more than talent. Even Maya got worried when she lost followers. All that stress must eat her up inside. Where were you when Maya died? Just rehearsing for my gig. I should have made more of an effort to contact her. Does rehearsing include writing? What? Yes, sometimes. Um, I mean... Writing, rehearsing, it's all part of the process. I'm just so overwhelmed right now, I totally lost track of someone I cared about. I keep thinking about how she died. Like, what if no one reported her death? If that random person didn't call the cops, would anyone have found her? How do you know about the anonymous caller? Um, I heard the cops talking about it. Yeah, that makes sense. I must have overheard. Mina appears to know about the anonymous tip-off when only the police should have this information. So can I go now, please? All this Maya talk is really triggering me right now. I need some alone time. We will get to the bottom of this. New theory. Time, I think they were a cult and something wrong happened. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Okay, bye. All right, so I've talked to all those fogies. All right, so let's see what the warden wants. Jesus, look at all his things. Uh, I don't think... I spoke to them individually. Learn anything new? Something they said bothered me. I have no idea what to think. Nothing substantial at all. This sounds promising. What do you have? They claim to have alibis. They knew details of the crime scene. What? 
All we told the public is Maya died of unknown causes, nothing else. What did they tell you? Rick said something about her face being injured. Only we knew about those marks. Either information leaked or he knows something we don't. Uncover any other info? Arya mentioned Maya dying in the living room. You'd have to be at the crime scene to know that or make a very lucky guess. Okay, what else? Mina knew about the anonymous caller. Aside from the department, only the emergency dispatch would know about this. Or the caller themselves. Is that what is that everything you have? What's your take? They could have been there. There might be a leak in the force. Possible. But if they're lying, we have to prove it. You're sure that's all you have so far? They claim to have alibis. So you ask about their whereabouts, eh? Good job. What did they say? Uh, Mina was rehearsing for a gig. Rex was editing videos. Sure he was. Tell me you have more intel. Okay. You got anything else? Right. That's all you have? Hold on. You thinking what I'm thinking? Their alibi is pretty weak. Weaker than the station's damn coffee. I don't buy it for a second. You got something here, but we need more. What else did you dig up? What else can we pursue? I got a theory. Well, spill it out. They are intentionally withholding information. I smell a cover-up. They all murdered Maya. I believe so, too. They must have seen or heard something. Whatever happened to Maya spooked them enough to stay mum. They must be conspiring, right? They should have been keeping things from us. We need solid evidence to nail them. I tried getting her laptop myself, but the chief switched the locks to the evidence room. If you don't find a way to access my laptop remotely, the trail ends here. <coughs> All right, let's go check out Jabber. We haven't checked out Jabber in a while. Mina says, have you guys got tickets to my show yet? I promise that it's worth it. Been practicing nonstop three minutes ago. Your dedication to your craft is inspiring. My mom and I are big fans. Come to Brazil. Rex, I don't make excuses. I make money. Quote of the day. No, it isn't easy. The life isn't for everyone. So before you think you can do my job, let me spare you some wisdom. Don't compare yourself to me ever. You're not on my level and you never will be. Oh, jeez. What a bitch. Pumped up clicks. So sorry, my phone and email have been acting up recently, damn carriers. I am afraid you can only reach me at my part-time job. Just click this post. Don't you wish you can get paid for just browsing? The answer is right here. Contact me and I can refer you to this exclusive program for free. Rex Keegan, businessman, consultant, philanthropist, educator. Get Rex. Grab success by the throat. A seminar with Rex Keegan. How you can easily earn $500 daily just by liking posts on Chimera. For a mere price of $10,000, learn the scientifically proven throat method where you can turn your favorite pastime into a professional career. With the amount of money you'll be making, this is practically a steal. That's a lot of money. $10,000? Uh, over 10,000 members and counting. 
10,000 members would be 100,000 at 1,000. No, there's not 10,000. In... That's a lot. That's like millions of dollars. Hold on. 10,000 members who paid $10,000. That's $100 million. There's no way. Claim your spot now. Insert name. Chief Turtle Hawk. Sorry, we are full. Not to worry, we got you covered. I am extending my invitation extension to you once again. Find one of my previous students who attended my session and they can refer you to a free preview session. They can be found orbiting around me and they are more than excited to give you this. Okay, that sucks. All right, tried. Rex Keegan is a successful businessman, consultant, and educator philanthropist. After establishing an online presence just over a year ago, Rex Keegan's following quickly grew to a now six-figure follower count on both Chimera and Jabber combined. Get Rex, a network for achievers. Members only. Throat stands for time, holistic, robust, outstanding appreciation, and technique. Earnings and income representative made by Rex Keegan, throat and other advertisement sponsors are only aspirational statements, only of your earning potential. The success of Rex Keegan, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This website is botched. Okay, recently visited, nothing. Oh, Rex Keegan. Alluren, B U B Alluring. Huh. Oh, this must be, oh, skateboards. Mind Body Fitness Gym. It must be where I do yoga. Okay. Uh, what else do we have on jab or anything? Ah, uh, women. This is why the Get Rex Army only are the only real ones. Sell out, please. Some of us would rather work than cry and beg for what we have. Jealousy is a terrible disease. Get well soon. I'm not going to read all these. There's so many in here. Ooh, these are redacted here. Okay. Whatever you do, do not trust this man. His name is Rex Keegan. He is a liar and an all-around fraud. He'll bleed you dry and toss you aside as soon as he gets what he wants. Help us get justice for his victims and get him off Jabber and Chimera by reporting his post. Rex Keegan is a scammer. Okay. It is not like that one. Uh, wow. A lot of people don't like him. Oh, Maya. At got Rex. This is a witch hunt. You have no proof. Also, harassment is another policy violation. This is me. I'm Maya Crane. At Maya. Eats clean. Why are you defending him? Spreading misinformation against Jabber's terms and conditions. I'm reporting that. Damn him. He ruined my life. Okay, so. Oh, here I posted something. I have had namaste thrown at me so many times that this word is starting to lose its meaning. Namaste, namaste, Maya, namaste, namaste. I hate all of you. <laughs> okay. Christian says, me and Nico, I'm playing VR chat horror maps. Oh, nice. 
Uh, go on the VR, ch VR chat horror maps. Go to the one with the clowns. All right, let's go back. Oh. Wow, what a terrible picture. It's too pink. Okay. Chimera. Where is this, like Instagram? Ooh, Max 2 Rex. Verified five minutes ago. I really didn't want to have to do this, but when the haters try to drag you down like crabs in a bucket, I got to speak up. Meet Ty Kowalski, a wannabe activist and my own personal stalker. This guy thinks I'm some kind of scam artist, as if I need to, you know, fool people to make bank. All I know about this schmuck is, one, he took my course, two, he couldn't hack it, and three, he wants to blame everyone but himself. Ty is a loser cubicle monkey who's high on excuses and low on ambition. He knows he can't get better because he won't put in the work. You know, I'm not even that mad. This guy's life is so sad. I'm kind of sorry for him. Damn. Ooh, piece of shit, you doxed me. I never did that. My followers just did what they thought was best. And I'll do it again, loser. I have a daughter, you psycho. Maybe you should have thought of that before you continued your tirade against Rex. His life is sad because you're a program. Now you're making it worse. You're a real piece of work. How in the hell is this not a threat? It's a dedicated video and post about the guy. I hope someone ruins your life as much as you've ruined ties and countless others. Can't we all just get along? Okay, how do I go back? There we go. Tired of losers holding back your perfect self? What is this? Sick of trolls spewing hate on your pristine image? Are your loyal admirers turning into persistent haters? Ever wish you could reshape your current reality? Take these questions to see how you like your reality to be shaped into. Which image best describes how you see yourself right now? This one. What would your journey, what would your journey to the top feel like? What do you seek the most? What would you change about yourself? I don't know. I don't even know what these pictures are. What are you willing to become? Achievement unlock diva. TRM MRT. You confidence drives you and rivals wither in your path. What holds you back is the weakness of others and self doubt. Improve your content and ambition by being quick, decisive, and ahead of the curve. No matter what it takes. Diva. Oh, I'm a diva. Okay. It's weird. 
go back to this weird website. TRM photo. I like the power. People fear me. All right. Oh, here's uh min min. You guys. Oh, here we go. Thank you so much for coming out to my show tonight. I really felt the love. Sometimes the pain is so Trisha, long. Oh dear. I can't even find words. And Maya, Maya was my guiding light. Without her, I'm just groping around in darkness, you know? It's like death just stalks me everywhere I go. Like I have to keep crashing into tides of suffering. Oh. For you guys. Tonight, it was just me pouring myself into the music. Oh. And I know that's what she would have wanted. Oh. Hmm. All right. Uh, would you believe that this stack is completely plant based? Uh, no. Taste it to believe it today. Okay. What is this? Picture? Okay, here's Rex, weirdo. Oh, Rex says, I lost a friend recently. Knowing her, she wouldn't want me bobbing around. Cheers, Maya. Dedicating my next million earned to you. Condolences, she was banging, and I say that respectively. This is what... You see when you enter hell, the devil waiting for you. You ever tap that? Oh, these guys are pigs. The toxicity was unbearable. Meet the most private phone ever. Triple encryption on all communication platforms. Nice. Thank you for 100,000 followers. Namaste. Wow, there's so many things on here. Sick of having weak things for friends? Yes. <laughs> oh God, there's another Rex. Here's an opportunity you don't want to miss, my friends. You see, the way to hustle smart is you got to fly close to the sun. You got to find your role model and orbit that sun like a mofo. That's how you're going to grow. Here's your chance to get into my orbit. Up close and personal. I'm looking for two ninja apprentices. People will pay hundreds of thousands to get into this vortex, but I'm not in this for the money. I'm lowballing this opportunity for you. It's cheaper than going to college. Let's do this. He is so full of himself. Oh, it's that link again. I already put my name in. Didn't work. I'll try it again. Damn. Find one of my previous students. Shit, I gotta start at the top again. Okay. Hey guys, I actually wanted to share this with you today. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I do want to be honest about how I used to look like. This is a photo of me from a couple years ago. I know, right? But the person that you see in front of you right now is 
a direct result of a good change in diet and a healthy lifestyle. I just want you to remember to maintain <laughs> that positive mindset and remember, you can do it too. Oh God. I can't with her. Okay, how do we do this? What's this? At. Oh, here's my profile. Maya Crane, Maya Eats Clean, fitness enthusiast, vegan, flower child. I believe in helping people be their best selves. All right. What's this? Okay, let's see. Faves. Okay, this is that girl. This is that girl. And this is that guy. He doesn't even have as many followers as her, and he's acting like a dick. All right. I think we've looked over all of this. Uh, have we gone through her mail? I don't think we've gone through the mail. Uh, this is from Arig. Namaste and greetings to you, Maya. I'm afraid we have to retract our invitation to connect with you. It appears that your trust quote, uh, quoted amount among our audience has shrunk and we cannot we cannot permit any possible polluting influences at our event it's bad for the vibes you know let us know when you reach higher tier on Crimea. should virgo be in your favor may the universe's joys be with you ouch that sucks thank you so much for this opportunity it's such an honor and yes it's a yes for me huh so they were going to have her, and then they said, no, you're not good enough. My name is Chrissy, and I'm your biggest fan, and I found your email after looking through the guest list at the Jabber Press Dinner. Uh, just want to say that you're my biggest inspiration because you're so fit and pretty and awesome. I tried your walnut lemon juice face cleanse treatment and your kale cabbage soup detox. And it was great, but then my face started peeling into different colors. And then I had to go to the doctor because I kept puking and they said that the kale cabbage diet is fake. They said your diets are dangerous and you should stop. I'm writing to you because I'm a fan and I think you should know and maybe fix your advice because my face is really bad now. It itches all the time and so no one else should have to go through this. You ruined my life. I hope you kill yourself. <laughs> Love, Chrissy. Okay, so this is a chick that was leaving that nasty text messages. She tried the face thing. It fucked up her face. So this girl's sus. This Chrissy, a non-male dot web. She's pretty sus. All right. Oh, yeah. Aria's determination. Aria is willing to fight for what she thinks she deserves. In this case, not asking for help from her family, even though she needs it. Hey, Maya, I've been thinking about what you said, and I'm going to go ahead with asking for likes from my fans. I know it's not the most popular thing to do, but you know how things are with my family, and I'm desperate, and I'm never asking them for help. Whatever comes on at my way, I'm going to fight it. I refuse to let what people say affect my decisions. These are my fans and I trust them. By the way, I'm not asking for my mission and I've already done it. Hey Chris, we're playing Simulacra uh, part two. It's kind of a scary whodunit um, game. Mind Body Gym. Namaste, Maya. Your spot has been confirmed. Anand, your master for this class, has been notified. A thousand blessings. 
confirm, 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 confirm. All right. Chimera Con, dear Maya Crane, it was a pleasure to have you at our last Chimera Con convention. Your role as moderator in our health hacks on Chimera IRL panel was integral for its success. Um, oh, hold on. I got to let the dog. Okay, I guess they don't want to come outside. They said it's too scary. All right. Oh, we got a little scan button here. Crimea Con invite. Due to her performance as a paddle moderator the previous year, Maya receives an invitation to this year's Crimea Con. Uh, this year we're offering you a bigger booth to meet your fans. We're also eager to have you as a speaker on the health panel. Should you choose to attend, please let us know your response by October 30th. Looking forward to having you again. Nice. Jabber support team. Dear Jabber support, I'd like to report multiple violations of Jabber's anti-harassment rules. My friend Rex is getting horribly trolled by an account called at get Rex got Rex. They're slandering his name and making all sorts of accusations. I hope you will deal with this ASAP. Thank you for your complaint regarding harassment of the account. We take such complaints given that trolls are part of social media. We suggest that your friend adopts more resilience to do it. <laughs> Maya is one of the very few people that Rex sees as a friend. These guys are unbelievable. I'm so angry. It's all right. Thanks for sticking up for me, though. That's more than I've expected from anyone. You're good people, yo. And don't worry about me. No hater's going to shut this awesome machine, all right? Oh, yes. All right. Oh, I missed a scan. Did I get the scan? Oh, it was on this one. I think I got it. All right, so we've checked that. What about the phone? Did we check the phone? Oh, we called emergency services. Uh, a Lauren hotline. My phone number. Okay, nothing crazy there. Surfer, we are looked at. Okay, we looked at everything. Now what? Oh, we have to find. Find a way to link the video stored in Maya's laptop to her phone. Okay. Okay, so we got to figure out. We got to figure out how to get into Maya's phone. Okay, security question one. What is the greatest gift to you? Oh, I don't know. Uh, help. Okay. Did I check her phone for nudes? I did, actually. There was a lot of scandalous pictures. Yoga. Fans. Oh, fans was it. What is your favorite song? Oh, oh, it's that song that's in there. I bet you it's this song, Multicolored Lies. Multicolored lies. Yes. What quote do you relate to the most? Oh. Uh, uh, what was that group? The, the thing she named the group. 
shit. She named the group here. Hold on. No, not that. What is going on with this one? New beginnings, new beginnings. New beginnings. Hey, spell beginnings. New beginnings. <laughs> New beginnings. Yes. All right. We did it. We're sinking. What's this? Oh. Stop it. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Please, please just trust me. I mean, like, why Why would a boosting service want to kill us? Because the Ripple Man is... Okay, the Ripple Man is not real, Maya. You have to stop it. The service is a bit weird, yes. But it's probably just a marketing ploy and a prank to mess with our heads. A prank? Our following shot right through the roof after we signed up. That's not normal! Oh, come on, it's just an algorithmic hack. It doesn't run on magic. This thing wants me as a sacrifice. Does if we don't stop it, this is not gonna end with me. What's this Ripple Man gonna do? Wave us to death? If I show it to you on my phone, will you believe me? Okay, sure. sure. This one? All of this can be explained. Babe, you're just oh, no. stressed out, okay? Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, you're just stressed out. I'm not throwing away my future because you're going nuts. I'm not crazy! I'm trying to save us, all of us! Maybe if we use a different service or something. It's too many that might help. Too me. late for that now. This is already happening, but we can stop it. We can okay, stop it. this is all just because of that stupid deal, right? Okay, look, no one's gonna take that deal, so nothing's gonna happen. You know, I'm not stupid enough to go for some vague trade. Hey, hey are you okay? <laughs> Whoa! A video of Maya confronting her friends about the Ripple Man. She dies suddenly shortly after. Arya, Mina, and Rex are seen in this video. Whoa. Who's the Ripper, Ripper, Ripper Man? Wait, what's in my downloads? Oh. Oh man, I got a lot of pulsations going here. Pulsing, 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 pulsing. Uh, what is going on with this? The last message Maya sent is contained in this group chat. Tied to a video sync to Maya's laptop. Reconstruct. New beginnings, a group chat with Aria, Rex, and Mina. The most notable conversation is about a boosting service that Maya was worried about. Oh, here we go. Uh, I have a question about the boosting thingy. Have you seen your new card? The one with the weird message? You mean this thing? You relish your position as the star among people around you, playing it out your own perceived role as much as possible in every increasing grandeur. You you move people with your larger than life persona and sweep others away with your performance and influence. Embrace our influence and grow your prestige. This deal requires a sacrifice. The actor. Oh Lord. Yeah, that one. I don't like it. It seems very off. 
Meh, it's just some dumb personality-based upselling tactic. They try and psych you out to buy their stuff. But what does it mean by a deal for a personal sacrifice? I feel like TRM wants trap us somehow. What is it asking to sacrifice? Seriously, Maya, they, like, they call you and say, Hi, may I have your soul, please? Stop it. Getting the cards was creepy enough. Maybe I should ask Florence. She was using TRM before us. But just think about the timing of it. We're all facing so much hate from our followers, right? And suddenly now we get this so-called offer to get rid of all that. And the card descriptions, it's like it knows our brands. Like it knows us. I got the music one. So is it stealing our data or something? Is it watching us? I'm just worried, okay? Oh, wait, I got a scan. Oh, shit. Good call. <laughs> what would I do without <laughs> Trisha watching for the scans? Maya message. Maybe I should ask Florence. She was using TRM before us. Someone before. Maya revealed that someone named Florence used TRM before and might know more about it. God, okay, okay, okay. Look, it's just like tracking metrics, right? So it scans my profile and sees my mad moolah skills, and bam, I get the tycoon card. Kind of kooky, but gotta say, it's pretty impressive and tempting. Oh my God, I know, right? I just can't with all these people just tearing me down. I got more hate mail today, people telling me to kill myself and stuff. So you think the service thing will make it all go away? Haters, man, they're always waiting to claw you. Anyway, this add-on sounds kind of bullshit, though. We're just going to ignore it, then? <coughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, okay. As long as we're all on the same page, then. This is urgent. I need to explain in person. I'm not sure that I understand it myself, but just come over to my place tonight. I need you to be here, please. It's really important. Babe, you okay? Maya, I've been so worried about you. Like, I was getting sick thinking about what happened to you. Just tell us what's up, all right? I figured it all out. TRM, the cards, the deal, all of it. There's still a chance out of this. We're in danger, okay? Just meet me tomorrow, please. I just need you guys with me, please. New beginnings. I figured it all out. Blah, blah, blah. Maya's plea feeling threatened by an unknown source. Maya asked her friends to meet her at her apartment the day before she died. You're scaring me, Maya. God, what the hell have you been smoking? You having some hippie trip out? Rex, stop being so freaking rude. Okay, Maya, babe, you... You gotta stop having a rack <laughs> Thanks, attack, okay? Trisha. Let's just all meet up and sort this out in person. None of you are capable of writing. That's obvious. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, please, just show up, okay? All right, so that's that. Okay, new beginning here. Choose a reply. Were you at the crime scene... What do you know about this TRM? <laughs> I gave him my diva card. How the heck did you get old messages from a wiped phone? Rex, they don't know that we know the phone is wiped. Well, it was Arya's idea to wipe it clean and Mina watched. How dare you? We all agreed to this. There is no point hiding anymore, so let's just be up front. It's a boosting service Maya introduced us to. She said she was being haunted by it. She said it stood for Tailored Reputation Management. Then she called it the Ripple Man for some reason. She brought it up as a solution for our ratings dropping. I guess some people 
would sell their soul to keep their internet fame. I would never do that. Cracking up, cranking up the blame train already, huh? You always, you know statistically the accuser is always guilty, right? So since Arya got the ball rolling, oh, applying those statistics to yourself now, accuser. I just want to say that I would never, ever harm Maya. How could a boosting service kill someone? The Ripple Man offered a deal for a great sacrifice, so someone must have taken the deal. And sacrificed Maya. Someone? For all we know, you're the one who took it. Does the act of innocence come with a side of lies? I didn't take it. How does the deal work? The deal can supposedly wipe out any bad publicity from our Chimera, Chimera pages. Even Maya was getting flack. If you didn't pressure her so much, she might not have gone to such extreme measures. Poof. You guys gotta learn to deal with these things in a healthy way. Oh, tweet, tweet. There you go. A deal that kills people is negative attention that bad. So Maya got you into this. We got a quota to hit, okay? You got to be trending 24 seven or you lose everything. Unfortunate, but true. Are you saying you took the deal? Hey, we all agreed to the service and I never took the deal. One of you sacrificed Maya. It wasn't me, all right. We knew about the deal and Maya freaked. That's the end of it. You were at the crime scene. Maya recorded us? Uh, yeah, you're all suspects now. <laughs> I wish I could type that, Chris. <laughs> I could explain technically we only lied about being there, but I swear I have nothing to do with this. We didn't do anything wrong. Put yourself in our shoes. Who's going to believe us if we said that some face tearing monster killed her? Face tearing monster killer. I'm listening now. All right. Okay. Fine. Not like I'm going anywhere. Thanks, Mr. Let's Skip Town. I don't even know how to start. It all happened so fast. She was fine, freaking out, but fine. I thought I was hallucinating it or something. And bam, she just, she just, it was like it was invisible at first. Her face burst open. Was this the Ripple Man Maya spoke about? Oh, um, I'm like not sure. Just something Maya named whatever the hell that was, all right? Who knows why? Yes, poor thing must have said it in fear. It was terrifying for all of us. I told you it was crazy. We were totally scared, okay? It was all so extra. Why get involved when we didn't do anything wrong? We only lied about Maya being nuts before she kicked the bucket, and it wasn't a complete lie. She was pretty crazy.
Uh, who took the Ripple Man's deal? 100% I'd never screw Maya over. So that's 50-50 between these two. Oh my god, you liar. Why don't I start with you, Rex? I know all about your get-rich-quick fiasco. The real fiasco is Mina's bullshit boo-hoo stories backfiring in her face. What? Arya's like a total sellout. She even faked a whole partnership thing, right? You probably took the deal to silence your victims. Oh, sorry, haters. Oh yeah, if anyone needs help for haters, it's Mina. I'm not the one trying to scare off my competition like Arya. I'm bringing all of you in. No, please don't. Shit. Please, that's terrible bluff, and you know it. It's not like you have anything on me anyway, right? I'm done here. Wait a minute. Yeah, you got nothing on us. Why the hell am I wasting my time with any of you? You're so rude. Um, so... You can't do anything to us, right? I can try to help you if you want to speak in private. Um, bye. Okay, Mina wants to help him. Ah! <laughs> ah! Every time I touch it, it does that. <laughs> hey, gold fingernail. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Rex, you son of a bitch. Another thing. What? If you're going to keep putting your nose all over my business and accuse me of all sorts of shit, I am going to sue you for defamation and harassment. Don't make me get my claws out, all right? Don't call me all of a sudden. God. It's like a goddamn jack in the box. Okay, let's see what the warden wants here. Okay. I think Chris has one of these apps here, the comms app. Found anything yet, Ricky? I smell poop. Did someone poop in the in the carpet? Oh god. These dogs, I tell you what. You better not be slacking off. Uh it'd be better if he said you better not be jacking off. I'd appreciate a response right now. I think I saw a vision of Maya. Wait, good lord. This might confirm one of my suspicions. I'll explain later. Enough screwing around. Get back to it. Focus on getting more intel from the phone. Have you heard of this TRM? No, but looks like another piece to the puzzle. Isn't that the ad on Chimera that keeps popping up about that boosting service? So how does this service factor in? It offered them some sort of deal. Oh no, I think I know what we're dealing with. I bet those kids know more than they're letting on. Dig through the phone. There has to be something in there that proves I'm right. <laughs> I 
Look at his picture. <laughs> you saw the video? Hey, this Daddy. Ripple Man? I thought it was just an urban legend like that Jeff the Killer story, but, but this is proof. They call me crazy. I'll show them who's crazy. I'll... I, I have to go. Too many ears here. Near retirement and no damn respect. Can't even get privacy in my own damned office. I should have been a pianist, but no. I had to serve and protect. You ain't gonna be no damn pianist. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Video evidence. Looks like she had a seizure of some sort. And these kids stood there watching it. What the hell is happening there? I have a theory, but I need more proof. The Ripple Man, a deal? We need them to really spill it. Why would they lie about this? Could be anything, really. Pressing them about it would work like a charm. Keep doing it. Make them crack. We need to figure out who this Ripple Man is and this deal they keep talking about. We're, we're close. A little more digging and we'll get to the bottom of this in no time. This is worse than I thought. We are dealing... We are dealing with a simulacrum. <gasps> a simulacrum? How do you know what that is? I've seen these things before. No one knows what these creatures are, but they all use online communications as cover, lurking behind websites, social media, apps. I don't know what they want, but they sure love screwing with us. So what are we dealing with here? Looks like this one's named itself the Ripple Man. Interesting. This is one hell of a long con. It baits its victims by promising fame on Chimera, knowing that they will eventually slide up under the glare of the limelight. Then it offers them a deal to remove all criticism for a price. It isn't their fault they fell for it. Perhaps. Why would, would you say the same if you were the one facing rejection and ostracization? I don't know how to say that. But I can't imagine being desperate enough to sacrifice a life for such a deal. I have my doubts. One of them must have known. These selfish idiot kids. One of them unleashed this Ripple Man. This thing will claim more victims if we don't stop it. We need to end the Ripple Man. Glad you're gung-ho, but we can't risk another death. The deal maker will lead us to the Ripple Man. This deal removes criticism and brickbats, right? But I'm sure these kids did something to spark that backlash. If we can find out what they did and why, maybe we can figure out who took the deal. Did he just quote Britney Spears? Oh God. The good thing about the digital age, everything leaves a trace. Start going through their social media. It's impossible to attract so much bad juju without doing something bad. Figure out what it is and confront them with it. Exactly. The more valuable they get, the more they'll spill. <coughs> You're handling this solo for now. I need to settle some things. Not before doing some digging first. Start with whoever you want, but don't talk to them without proof. 
were looking for any evidence of them mucking up so bad they were begging for a chance to wipe away all the negativity. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another thing. What? Watch your back. I don't like this seeing visions one bit. This rabbit hole is definitely not gonna end up in Wonderland. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. What? All right. What do we need to do? All right. Oh, geez. I'm back to here again. What? Okay. Why does this keep flashing? Aria's ties to a fashion brand. Um, we don't have that. Rex's new recruit email address. We don't have that. Requires Erica's full name. Who's that? <clears throat> Oh, previous broadcast. Attention, Detective Marillo. Arrest warrant for Nicholas Earth, CEO of Spark Limited, has been denied due to if insufficient evidence. Warning, arrest quota for dupe for the month of October is zero. Continuous poor performance will be subject to review. All available patrols, be on alert for any further suspicious activity between Comley Apartments and Mansfield Park. Please, please compile the remaining transcripts and prep all remaining evidence for transfer to archive. Thank you. Personnel patrolling between Comley Apartments and Mansfield Park, <clears throat> please resume your regular routes. Request for G31298 to be reopened has been denied. Case will remain closed and any ongoing investigations terminated. Request for one additional junior personnel has been approved. Evidence 3911-B item 6 is not accounted for. All handling officers involved in the case, please report to the chief's office for an immediate debriefing. Oh, they found out I have the phone. <clears throat> I've got to hurry. Wait, what are all these things? Oh, the searching. Okay, okay so we've got to go to Crimea. What is this? Bella Gonzalez? Jamie, Tammy James. Water goth. Ooh, she's pretty. I like that neck tattoo. Um, sponsored, say yes to this exclusive hoodie only through this ad. Oh, here's a TRM. I was never enough worthless if people didn't like me. Style something. Who's this? Oh, this is Ara. Aria. Hi, chicas. Okay, it's really hard for me to do this. I want to apologize for the alluring thing. You know, sometimes you edit hundreds of photographs and videos, and the wrong one gets uploaded. And you know, that was just, that was just a rehearsal, you know, it was just me messing around. 
and it's it's just not fair that one mistake just, was just one mistake and it brought so much hate. <coughs> Wow, she posted that? My career is based on learning and growing from my mistakes. I'm truly devastated with myself for making such a grave error and hope that you all forgive me. Worst apology video ever. I didn't even... Even I didn't try this hard. This is drama worth spilling. Sips tea. Oh... Good you got called out, and good that you have learnt your lesson. Now do better. It wasn't a rehearsal, the video, the caption. You want people to think it was real. Now you're trying to gaslight us. Oh, wow. Okay. I get some time alone on a messy bed full of my favorite things. The best part is snacking on some artisanal pretzels, pretzels that are just pure crunchy, buttery goodness. What every queen needs on her downtime. Sunday fun day. Is this the thing that she's apologizing for? Ooh, ready to earn 5K? No. I won't take no for an answer. Just email info at pumpedupclicks.web. <clears throat> okay. Oh, TRM. Ooh, is this Maya? TRM. I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest. Oh, what? This is why scheduled posts are such a bad idea. To be honest, I really wish she were alive. Death is such an inconvenience to me. Dude, really? Okay, we need to find... Ever wish you can influence people around you? Oh, this is that thing again. No. You are just like the rest, a sheep jerk. Wait, I have. Oh, geez, geez, look, look at, at the, the butt, butt on that. that. Yeah. yeah. He must, he must work, work out. out. Hey, Maxilex, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're playing a simulacra two. <clears throat> I don't remember what Anna's last name was. I think it was Anna, Anna, Bobana, Banana, Fana, Fofana, Me, My, Momana. All right, let's look at Ara. Let's see what she did. She had some kind of post, she said. So I guess we're going to have to watch her things. Okay, this doesn't have a lot of uh, dislikes, so it's pretty, pretty positive. This one has a ton of dislikes. This is a little PSA for all those knockoff fashionistas. I'm not naming names because I don't partake in drama, but these wannabes aren't doing it for the love of fashion like the rest of us. They just want fame and money by copying those of us who work hard and care. Stop stealing. Bye, Felicia. I'm talking to you, Babs. Let's see. 
Hola chicas! This is my favorite wall. Love the texture because it makes every outfit pop. So it's kind of annoying to see other junkies copying me by shooting here too. You know, I do all my shots myself. No professionals, no chimera boy fees. Okay, like I said, I do all my shots myself. Nothing professional, no chimera boy fees. It's just me. <laughs> As a creator, when somebody copies you, it just kills your creative soul bit by bit. So this is what I have to say to all the copy pastas out there. Listen carefully. Ooh, tweet, tweet. That might be a good me, one. But you'll never be me by making knockoffs of my style. Okay, that got a lot of hate, but not too much. So let's see the next one. This is pretty positive. Oh, scan this though. Ara is the most hardworking person I know. <clears throat> Maya and marrying Arya. Maya sees Arya as her inspiration to stay strong in tough times. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one has a lot more hate to it. Arya announces her partnership with the Alluren brand, but commenters are pointing out some discrepancy in this announcement. Secrets out, so happy I finally announced that I'm with Alluren Ambassador. Stay tuned for more goodies and a big giveaway coming real soon. Hola, chicas! So, super exciting news. Guess who's the latest Aluren brand ambassador? I'm so totally honored by this opportunity because I love, love, love the Aluren brand ethos, which is stay true to yourself. Now, you queens know that I only ever support brands that I really, truly believe in because I'm no beauty bot and you love these made me, so I gotta keep it real. Um, okay. Seemed okay to me. Oh, they said she's lying. Amazing. Didn't think you'd get it since you're a smaller creator. Don't you see? She's obviously lying. What? Like she's radiant. She's beautiful. She looks like an angel. Sounds about right. Uh, no, don't they call themselves muses? She said she was an ambassador. Look, she didn't even tag them. Isn't that weird? Potato, potato. Doesn't matter what they're called. Is it all the same? Lying about SpawnCon, she wouldn't do that, it's pathetic. Just say that you hate her and move on. Oh my god, I think you can call their hotline on their website to report them. Ooh, they have a website hotline? Okay. Okay, let's go to their website and see if we can report her. This one. All right, here, be our muse. Welcome to the Alluring Hotline. Be true, be you, be alluring. Press one to ask about our exclusive deals. Press two to ask about our brand new loyalty program. Press three to ask about our Muse program. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time to follow up on your application as our Muse, please press one. If you want to apply as one of our Muses, please press two. Otherwise, press want to be our Muse? Are you, you enough to be a part of us? Hunt us down at our pop-up stores and get your applications filled.
If you have already applied and want to get in touch with your talent liaison, please dial the four-digit extension number after the beep. Beep! Sorry, the extension number doesn't exist. Please try again after the beep or press zero to return to the main menu. Sorry, the extension... Damn it. We gotta find the extension. Okay, anyway, let's go and talk to her. Oh no, wait, we gotta go to this one first. Um, this one. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. A rare park something. Maya, I'm beyond a noise, such an inconvenience. Look at this, can you believe this bull? Due to the sheer volume of applications, blah, 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 how hard do I have to try? Uh, like, why can't I just get in? I'm clearly perfect for this. If only I had a friend who could help me out, a friend with connections at Aloran, a friend who slays at fitness and curating diet plans. A friend that I dearly respect and appreciate. A friend that I am forwarding this email to. But seriously, if you know anyone on the inside, please, please let me know, okay? Okay, love you, bye. Dear Aria Park, your application to become an Allura Muse has been received. Unfortunately, due to the sheer volume of applications, our review process will take longer than expected. In the meantime, you can follow up with your application through our hotline listed in our website. My extension is 8714. Okay, I need to put that on my desk. Uh, eight, seven, one, four. Eight, seven, one, four. I look forward to hearing from you, Rachel. Hey! Okay. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Required clue, Rex's new recruit's email address. We don't have that. Pretty sure we don't. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, so um, Tweet Tweet wanted me to look up something here. Um, what are we looking up Anna for? A case? I don't remember the date. Okay, I'll come back to it if need be. Look, we're running out of time here, so we gotta wrap this up fast. Arya looks like a nice enough girl, but my gut tells me she's got a lot more insecurities than she's letting on. From experience, someone like that is gonna do whatever they can for validation, even if they have to fake it. <laughs> I think you should gonna... push her buttons on this. See if she's really as genuinely confident as she seems.
Must be an empathetic ectoplasm imprint, a strong emotional etched into the material of the phone itself, transferred to the user through touch. So Maya's trying to communicate? No way of knowing for sure, but that's my working theory. Anyway, these visions are mostly harmless. Thanks for the report. That's a relief. But if you feel anything like that again, don't just go along with it, okay? I'm trying to keep you alive here. Maybe once we solve this, we'll figure out your strange experience, too. Okay, so I need to try to get a hold of... Uh-oh, what's going on here? Who's Erica? Okay, I gotta get a hold of uh, Aria. Okay, can't get a hold of her there. How do I get a hold of her? Oh, I gotta call a I gotta call the Alaria. Welcome to the Alluren Hotline. Be true, be you, be alluring. Press 1 to ask about our exclusive deals. Press 2 to ask about our brand new loyalty program. Press 3 to ask about our Muse program. If you want to follow up on your application as our Muse, want to be our Muse? Are you, are you enough to be a part of us? Hunt us down at our pop-up stores and... Thank you. Your liaison is Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Okay. However, your call cannot be connected as she's not at her desk at this moment. She's informed of your call and will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a nice day. Well, that sucks. Oh, hey, Rachel. Hello, this is Rachel Hay from Alluren. Be true, be you, be alluring. Who is this? All right, honey. I don't see your number here. Did I miss you out? Sorry, I can be a klutz sometimes. If you have my extension, it means you probably applied. Who is this again? Oh shit, I don't remember. What's her name? Uh... Oh shit, where did I see that at? Okay, here it is. Um, oh, extensions 8714 right there. Um, Aria Park. Hang on, babe. Oh, hold on, Chica Aria. Yes, you are on the list. But it also says here, I called you to inform you that you didn't make it. I already made an announcement. That's on you, sweetie. You know you can't do that, right? Kind of ballsy move. If it were up to me, I'd take the free publicity any day. But my boss has a point. If too many people... Oh, Jesus. Uh, what? Yeah, don't waste my time. Look at him out there, staring at me like... Some Did you butt old. dial me? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, just do your job. This is, uh, what the... You huh? butt dialed me! Hi.
I was going to call you about it, but since we're here, we can settle things now. Sorry, it's just business. But I do need you to do something for me. That video you made, I need it taken down in a week's time, please. I deserve this. Whoa. Desperation is not a good look on you, honey. Here, fresh from our PR department. Press release. Draft. Statement on official muses. Aluren's influence program knows his muses are uh, our, our voice, our ambassadors, and proud representative of our brand. These muses are carefully selected to fully embody our ethos. While we are proud to see fans emulate the style and prestigiousness of our muses, a few have taken it too far by calling themselves our partners or collaborators without our permission. These imitators undermine the integrity of our brand and real muses. Stay true to yourself. Aria Park, fake muse. Aria Park is one of these unofficial muses. She claims to be our ambassador, but she is not affiliated with us in any manner. Uh, one of the ways to identify a fake muse from a real one is to look for our official tags. Real muses are required to tag Ad Aluren on their post, while the fake ones tend to avoid it. If you spot any other fake muses, please contact any of our official channels. Be true, be you, be alluring. Shamed. Honestly, Arya, you're loud and obnoxious overall, but faking this ambassador thing is the last straw. I was going to tell you about it first, but with your bratty attitude, I'm going to make this public right away. Ciao, and don't call us again, okay? Arya's hater, Rachel. Rachel is highly critical of Arya's actions and wants to teach her a lesson. Okay, that's interesting. Aria, anything else you want to share? I'll let you know. Glad to be of help. So I did some digging into your work. What the heck is this? You lied about being their ambassador. God damn it. Fine, I admit it. I faked my brand sponsorship. Oh no, Lauren published it. I'm so screwed. What do you have against me? You're just as bad as those so-called fans who just follow me to troll me and put me down. That's why you've got them gone. Aren't you all about keeping it real? What else are you lying about? Of course I want them gone. I can't go anywhere without these haters lurking around. I need the Aluren deal to boost my ratings, okay? You have to show that you're successful to get jobs, and perception trumps realness every time. Plus, Aluren's a big company. I didn't think they'd bother checking someone like me. I never had this conversation with Rachel. It's you. You impersonated me? Incredible. You're basically me for lying about a learn, and then here you're committing identity theft. Listen, I was desperate and I made a stupid mistake. Sometimes I feel pressure to act like my life is more exciting than it is, okay? But I can and intend to fix myself on my own terms. I never needed the Ripple Man's deal. Oh, she... I don't appreciate digging into my personal life, but if it helps me make my case, go right ahead. Will you believe me now? I didn't take the Ripple Man's deal. I didn't kill Maya. I would never want anything bad to happen to her.
Did Rex or Mina take it? It has to be. We didn't listen. Maya was freaking out. She was trying to warn us. It's like she knew something was up. Then give her voice a second chance. We were all there, me, Mina, and Rex. I was so caught up by how silly it all sounded, and I was worried about jobs instead of just hearing her out. I'm such a mess right now. Then show me you're a fighter. What would you know anyways? Everyone expects me to fail. I worked so hard to prove them wrong. This service was my leg up. Think about Maya. Oh, please, a guilt trip? If she didn't sign up for us this thing, we wouldn't be in this mess. But she's gone now. I can handle myself. It's okay to, to admit defeat sometimes. Never, ever say that to me again. I can't afford to throw away everything I've built. No way I'm receiving the mockery of being the bottom of the barrel again. Then suck it up and fight for it. Fine. But... What about Rex and Mina? They know stuff too. Why am I the focus here? I can't rely on them right now. That's very reassuring. I feel like I can really trust you now. Not. If I give it my all to help you, can you guarantee that Rex and Mina would, would do the same? You want me... To bank my entire life and career on a chance. I know how you can solve this. So there might be a way. Maya was telling us something important about the Ripple Man, but I wasn't really paying attention. And then, well, you know what happened to her. What was she trying to tell you? It's all a little blurry, but I remember bits and pieces. She kept going on and on about some sort of totem. For a ritual. A dispel ritual. Arya says Maya had a plan to stop the Ripple Man. It involves retrieving a totem from Maya's gem locker. Ooh. A totem to summon the monster and dispel it. That's why she wanted my gem card. No idea. Maya and I go to the same gym. She said she left the totem in her locker there. But since she misplaced her access card, she needed mine to get to the gym. I guess so, but... I still have a nagging feeling about this deal. And we still need the others to figure out the rest of the ritual. And what if I get caught breaking into her locker? It'd be so humiliating. Maybe there's something you can do. So, okay, I can get into the gym, but we had different schedules. I have no idea which locker is hers. And if it's padlocked, I'll need the combination to make this quick. Maybe you can find this info in her phone somewhere. I'll look for it. Great. That's what I like to hear. Look, I don't trust people easily. Let alone someone I've never met. But I got a good feeling about this. It's going to take me a while to get to the gym, so get back to me with the info.
Jesus. Oh, Maya's laptop has something new. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, Maya. Is she breathing? Don't. You know, check on pulse. Just, just. We need to call the cops. No. Tell them what happened. Maya was torn up by some e e evil monster thing. What, what demon? I, I don't know. It was hysteria. This is like a, a gas leak. It's a gas leak. Yeah. Rex, gas leak. Just, just, just stop, okay? It's bad enough as it is. Just shut up, Rex. Shut up. <laughs> you know. Okay. We. We can't just stay here and, and, and not do anything, okay? We have to just figure we can just figure this out and just keep calm and yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we gotta run. We have to run. We have to we have to get one way tickets, we have to get out of here. What no, what's wrong with you? We have to figure this out. Okay? Okay, somehow we have to figure this out. Maya was telling the truth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's just calm down. Work this out together. She was right. She was right. It's not gonna stop. And that means that means that one of us, one of us, made the deal. Oh Jesus. All officers who handled case file, blah, 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 please report to the detective's office. Thank you. Maya at her gym locker. Ooh, do we have that? We don't have Maya at her gym locker. We have to get my other gym locker. We have to get Erica's full name, and I don't even know who Erica is. And then we have to get Rex's new recruit's email address. Let's see. We've heard your feedback, and we're denouncing all of our phony muses, starting with, oh, jeez. Who's Erica? I wonder if it's this, um, oh, he's in Santorini. Nice. Um, wouldn't you rather control others than they control you? Do you like being used? Yes. Are you ready to become a god? If a stranger asks you for a favor, how would you react? You go about your routine and you meet someone like you like, what would you do? I have no idea what these pictures are. Arya is blowing up your phone. Your superior calls you in for a private talk. What do you think about? How do you decide on the lesser of two evils?
How does it feel when everyone leans on you for guidance? Oh, Jesus. TRM. You are driven. Explorer, you are driven by your sense of discovery. Spending most of your time uncovering new information or new revelations. Never satisfied with your given path, you consistently find a way to explore the ones yet uncovered, even if it requires you to break it. Embrace your influence and grow your prestige. This deal requires a sacrifice. Okay, that's creepy. Okay. This Crimea thing is messed up. Mind, body, fitness. Okay, nothing really to do. Uh. Well, where do I email you? It says email. Oh. Counts private. Okay, who's blowing me up here? Hey, hello, I'm here. Are you there? Sorry, I zoned out. <laughs> Can you please? <laughs> I've been wandering around here for 10 minutes. People are starting to look at me funny. I'm in the locker room now. You got the number? No, where the fuck am I supposed to get the number? Sorry, bitch, I don't know. Where am I supposed to get the number? Uh, maybe I have it in here. That's where I would put it. Jim. Oh, hi, my phone number. You think I have a gym number? Locker number? No. Not in there. Uh, maybe I have a picture of it. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, maybe this is it. Nope. Maybe this is it. No. Okay, I don't have a picture of it. Oh, what else is there? Jeez. Oh, mind body gym. Uh, mind, body, fitness. That's it. Hmm. Oh. Um, I don't fucking know. Maya at her gym locker, clue required. Hmm. 
Where do I find that? Maya at her gym locker. I don't see her at any locker. Here's a gym. There's no locker. I don't know. Oh, geez, look at all the penny. Investigate who is most likely to have accepted Ripple Man's deal. Find out if Mina could have taken the deal. Check if Rex's business is a scam, as some have claimed. Confront Arya about faking and allure sponsorship. I already did that. I help this. There was an announcement about gym security somewhere in Maya's message. Ellie, one of the employees of Maya's gym, set up Maya's locker combination for her, with the combination being the initials of her gym class trainer starting from Monday till Sunday. What? Who's that? I don't even know who Ellie is. Who's Ellie? I don't see an Ellie anywhere in here. Does Crimea have DMs? Oh, here we go. Gym routine. Maya talks about a routine. Okay. Hi, guys. It is day two of the Celery Cabbage Hemp Seed Cleanse, and this thing makes me feel at one with the universe. It's such a great post-workout drink. You know, it fills up your electrolytes, it balances out your free radical levels, and um, just make sure that you're sticking to non-GMO veggies only, okay? Bye. Okay, I'm saying maybe 237. Or 238. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Ellie, a gym employee, explaining how Maya's new locker password system works. Namaste, this is Ellie. Just need to update you on a little situation here. Oh no, is there a soy shortage again? No, not that serious. This is about locker security. Oh, there's been a string of break-ins recently, the scandal. Although we encourage our patrons to use their own padlocks, some of them still choose to keep their belongings unlocked. Seriously? Yep, we're taking an innovate at we're taking innovative to buff up security by supplying padlocks for our patrons. It's the type uh, with an alphabetical lock combination, so it's easy for us to unlock if someone forgets. They will. Here, I've already set yours for you. Uh, 237, and it is G-I-R-E, right? 
I have tons of passwords to remember. Now you're giving me another one. I'm terrible at remembering this. Way ahead of you, girl. Got a real easy method to recommend. I base your password on your gym schedule. I use the initials of your instructor's names as the combination starting from Monday till the end of the week. So you, all you need to remember is who your instructors are and the order of your classes. Fantastic. Why didn't I think of that? Security and convenience are our priority. Thanks for the update. Uh, my pleasure. Toodles. Bye. Okay, so 237. 237 and it is okay let's just tell her 237 Okay, I don't know. Maybe G I R E. Let's try that. Well, where in the fuck is her things? Try to find her schedule. Oh. Doesn't have a calendar. Jake the Juggernaut, Wendy the Wanderer. Ah, good one. And what code of the name Monday, Tuesday, or something like that? Yeah, it was. Oh, shit. Monday. Well, I don't know what she's taking. Age. Oh, Lord, this was about Thursday fly cycle class alert. Thursday fly cycle. Thursday is the fly cycle. That's an and. There's an and. So we just got to figure out the other one. Probably yoga. Yoga and fly. 
CDCA. Let's try CDCA. Jesus. One of the employees at my have set the locker combination for her with the combination being the initial of her gym class trainer starting from Monday till Sunday. The initial trainer starting Monday until Sunday? Oh, it's a puzzle. Jeez. Well, I can't even see Sunday. Well, we know Thursday's an and. So A, A. I don't know if she has combat class. What I'm thinking is there's only four, um, four letters, so we have to find what her schedule is Sunday, Monday through Sunday. And Anne's only on there once. Um, I don't know. This is crazy. I don't know. Okay, I had to cheat. Apparently, she's got Harry right here. I won't be able to make the Monday session hairy. We know that's one. We know she confirmed Anon, which is Thursday. Here, Thursday with the fly class. So we know we have that. So we have Harry and Anon. So HC. Um, so HCAB. Don't ask me how we got that. <laughs> what the hell happened? Hello? I should have known better than to count on you. Well, I suck at this. I you what you needed, and of course you screwed it up. I am done relying on other people ever again. Oh, quit being such a drama queen.
Okay. Oh, it's H C A R. Yeah, it's H-C-A-R, not H-C-A-B. Oh, jeez. I want to grow my business by growing each and every one of you. If you sign up as a regular subscriber, you'll get fans and likes straight out of the bat. What we want you to do then is you'll start recruiting people and for everyone you recruit you get a slice of their fees and even more likes. If you make it to platinum level you will have an army of people working for you, getting your businesses likes, promoting what you're doing. If you hustle smart you can make it all the way to the top of the pyramid, uh, top of the food chain, food chain, top of the food chain. Guys, this, this right here, this is innovation. This is how little guys like us, we're gonna disrupt the entire industry. Are you with me? Come on, <laughs> this is it. Stupid. They're like, yay. Okay, how do we screw that one up? Jeez. Uh, let's see. Um, dun 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 Um. Okay, sorry. So, I was reading something. <laughs> sorry, how are we supposed to get the totem now? <laughs> I know, we're going to be screwed. Um,
I don't know how we're going to get the totem, to be honest. Jeez, what now? I swear to God, I'm gonna find out what you look like, and if I ever see your face in person... Do you wanna see my face now? What? What the... What the... <laughs> Very funny. You almost sounded like Maya. Do you wanna see it? My face! Jesus. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go talk to Papa. Okay, I briefed the higher-ups about our investigation. They want to continue looking at the Ripple Man. Aside from the culprit who took the deal, they want proof the Ripple Man of the Ripple Man, be it picture or footage. Then we can close the case. Fantastic. All right, that's where the good news in. Bad news is that I violated a bunch of protocols and laws to get the evidence, and they can't let this go. If we mess this case up, they're going to charge me with obstruction of justice, and that will spell the end of dupe. The existence of Ripple Man will be looked up along with me, locked up along with me. So where are we on this? Hmm. Blatantly lying about being a brand ambassador. Well, how can you trust someone who can casually deceive people out in the open? Nice work exposing her. It's nice to know someone still cares about people, but I have very little sympathy for them. Sacrificing Maya for their personal gain I will not let this injustice slide. We need to know who took the Ripple Man's deal. If we fail, this case will go back to being a freak accident, and no one will know the truth about the simulacra. And I will once again be treated like a fool. I won't fail you! Music to my ears. Two more left to talk to. I'll be in touch. Oh, how do I get the codem? Shit. Oh, cancel. Oh, jeez. What do they want? Detective Merlot has been placed under observation. All junior officers and administrative staff. To please get confirmation from your direct supervisor before executing any orders from him. Field Team Delta, you are placed under special assignment. Please report back to HQ for immediate briefing. 
Okay, well. Um, I'm kind of worried about this totem. Aren't you? Go back and look at the background. Oh yeah, the background did change. She's looking creepier now. Okay. I didn't want to admit it, but deep down, I knew it was Rex all along. If only I saw through his cheap sham earlier. You know, you just, you just can't trust someone who enjoys putting people down. He thinks he's so above everyone else. <laughs> well, today, he's gonna learn what it's like to be on the losing end. So dramatic. Hey, that's for paying members only. Delete it now or I'll sue you to oblivion. No. It's a modified version of an MLM system. Okay, okay, okay. It was a stupid and contrived scheme, all right? But come on, people just want the entrepreneurial image without doing any of the work. So I thought I'd give people what they want, you know? Hey, man. It's eat or be eaten, you follow? And before you bring the violins for these peeps, that lot would sell their grandmas for a new car. You really got to pity people like that. So yeah, I got some flack for it, but some of them actually got off their asses and did something for their lives. It's all part of the business. I knew the risk. I got to go big to show people that I'm killing it, but maybe this was riskier than I thought. I'm a pro. I deal with my failure my own terms. I have it all planned out. I've hustled my ass off for years with no help. And when Maya and I discussed the stupid deal, I told her I didn't need some lame ass Snoopy ripple thing. I had no intention of hurting Maya or anyone else, too. Maya thinks otherwise. Arya, I swear to God, she told you about this, huh? Knew I shouldn't have asked her for help. What the hell did she say? Reginald? You told me everything, Reginald. You want to call me that to my face? I made some mistakes, all right. That doesn't mean I tear Maya's face up. Shit. Arya planned this from the start. Planned it? She's trying to push attention away from herself. Gotta say, Arya's a smart one. Also paranoid about everyone else overlooking her. You know, she and Maya had pretty overlapping fan base too. Maybe she got sick of Maya doing better than her. Yeah, that's motive. She decided she'd be better off without Maya being in charge. A girl like that would push a friend in front of a bus. I'm telling you, she's masterminding this whole thing and making me the fall guy. What's your proof? You should have seen her when Maya died, alright? 
Off the bat, Arya was already telling us what to do and all. How the hell do you keep your cool with shit like that, unless you knew it was going to happen? Those girls were all appearances and no substance. Baker than $3 bills. Probs. That's why they couldn't cope with the hate. It's all about being glamorous and showing off how in demand she is. Her Chimera feed is so fake because she's insecure as fuck. That deal would help her get the prestige she wants so badly. She did lie about her brand endorsement. Oh yeah, that whole Lauren gig. Saw how she tried to spin it around too. What a hypocrite. You know, I've seen her just tear, tear down other influencers because they dare to be more popular than her. She will eliminate anything or anyone if they get in her way. I think you're right. She totally took the deal to make sure she stays on top. Oh no, I'm not dialing. Oh my god, texting with Maya's phone is creepy enough. Can you stop dragging me into this? Can you stop dragging me into this? Can you? Wait. Wh what? N no, it can't be. You drag me in this. No. I would never. <laughs> the picture is so scary. Guy is blowing me up. This guy is so ridiculous. Ignore that video. Don't even open it. It's highly confidential, not meant for your eyes. Great news. The higher ups agreed to small field team to apprehend the culprit. They'll do whatever it takes to prevent the Ripple Man's influence from spreading. What the progress report? This is turning out to be quite messy. Any theories as to who's our perp? I feel like we're missing something big. Are you getting this from those kids? They covered up Maya's death and conspiracy with an evil entity. That's the long and short of it. The only thing we're missing is our last suspect statement. Stop falling for their tricks and get your head in the game. There's a lot at stake here. This team they gave me. If we screw up this case, they'll be taking me in instead. And if you dig deeper and detain you too, there's no one left to pursue the simulacra. What? Hold on, my dogs are barking.
Okay, I'm back. It's so weird. Like, I heard a little noise. And they ran over to the door and started kind of barking. It was really weird. I think they can hear some of the noises through my headphones. Uh, maybe I got them too loud. There we go. All right. I will finish my investigation then. Only one more to go. Wrap it up and let me know. I've been working cases for over 35 years, and let me tell you, none of it has prepared me for this. Truth is, I don't even know if I can handle another case like this. I just want you to understand the gravity of what we're doing here. It needs to carry on beyond me, beyond us. Think about that. All right, the special privileges of dupe are currently being reviewed. All ongoing dupe investigations will be placed directly under HQ until further notice. Man, we are getting a uh, lockdown here. Oh, jeez, I keep doing that. Okay. Jabber is off the chain. Rex Keegan, this is why roses have thorns. You should never get too close to them. Mind and body, we'd like to inform all our members that is no longer welcome to our space of positivity and healing. Security got her breaking in to a member's locker and we're taking immediate action to detox her negative actions from our space. No freaking way. She was the thief all this while. New in college, she had money problems then too. Damn, why doesn't her friend Max to Rex get her in on his business? Aria? Oh Lord. Doing the right thing is off brand for morality. Don't know her. Oh jeez. Okay, well, be careful. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, jeez Louise. Good gravy. What the hell? Oh, jeez, I didn't even expect that. Let's look at Crimea. All right. We're getting more TRMs in here. Oh, here's Max. I had too much money in the bank, so I used some of it to film this video. Here's a special message from Sexy Demise and I. I love my car. You know how much I love my car? That's how much. Who you messing with? Who you playing with? 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 I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. Rex, I ain't trippin' daily basis, I'ma pull the trigger flex Now you're trippin' daily basis, I'ma fight the system I show you how to live outside the social conventions And try to see the humor in the worst of situations The crowd please your attention, sealer, I'm sharp tooth I stomp through, I'm a damn dealer, I rock you Talk you into submission, mission impromptu Rex at your party, send everyone to the bathroom The blue jams are too advanced, you prehistoric What is wrong with this guy? And the answer is rhetoric But new jams are too advanced, you prehistoric Who I be is the question and the answer is rhetoric who you messing with? Who you playing with? 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 I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. I'm the best of the best since the Renaissance. Who you messing with? Who you playing with? Who you messing with? Who you playing with? Who you messing with? Who you playing with? Who you messing with? Who you playing with?
Okay, this guy is demented. Rex is crazy. Who's the sleaziest? <laughs> okay. Ooh, we got new stuff from, oh, we got a new song. Who are you messing with? And super unknown. I actually like that song. All right, what do we got here? Here's a video from October 10th. Holy shit balls. Oh, no siree, Bob. Nope. Oh, she did not. Oh, she did not do that. Oh, she did that. Oh, man. How freaky is that shit? I'm recording this as proof. I've been hearing it for weeks, every night. And you're gonna hear it too? You hear that, right? I'm not crazy! I don't hear it. Stop. Make it stop. Stop! Oh, that fixed it. Yeah, that was some ring shit right there. Mm -hmm. God, this picture creeps me out. I don't know, it just keeps getting worse. So the number two rule of hustling, you gotta trust your instincts. And something tells me, Arya will stab you in the back to get what she wants. Let your guard down, and her designer heels will stomp all over you. She sure picked the wrong person to stomp on this time. Okay. Okay, who's Erica full name? And who's Rex New Recruits email address? Those two we haven't been able to find, but maybe we don't need to find them yet. So let's talk to Mina. 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 Oh, right here. Someone named Erica. Okay, we got to find Erica. So it's Erica on Jabber. Is there Erica? Who 
Who should come in it? Erica. Nope, no Erica. I don't see an Erica. Who's Erica? Huh. Uh, let's try this one. Is there an Erica on here? I don't see an Erica. I don't know how we're supposed to find Erica. Make any sense. Oh, let's see if there's an Erica in the phone book. No. The Erica in here. How are we supposed to talk to Mina? Oh, I see. Let's go to Mina. No, she's down. Ooh. Whoa, I didn't know that you were in the blah, blah, blah. Mina's tragedy. Mina reveals that a personal tragedy has been a major source of inspiration for her music. But her fans are doubting this. My birthday week has always been really hard for me. Because it reminds me of my best friend who passed on. And I wrote this song in her memory. to think we will live forever let all our dreams guide us to wherever but then you but then you left me all lost and alone used to feel you would always be by my side you went to assume your life was denied wish i could watch watch you smile just one more time you are gone I'll count the dying days down till I join you miles the stars the girl who loved me with all my scars yay Good job. Okay, that one was okay. So you did pretty good. Pretty good. Uh-oh, this one's starting to get nasty. Self-pity. Mina enjoys wallowing in self-pity and uses it as a means to get attention from others. 
She said, saw the disc jockey's review of my recent show, and I'm extremely hurt. I am disappointed, and I don't deserve your support. Been crying all day. I feel incredibly numb. Canceling my performance later for my mental health. I'll be too much to see. It'll be too much to see all of you, and I know that I am such a failure. I just saw that. Okay. So we know that um, in this image. Oh, wait! Did we see Erica's full name? Did we see that in there? Hold on. Erica, 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 Erica. Nope, not on that one. Over here. Nope. Here, Erica, Erica. Erica. I don't see anything called Erica. I know, but I can't get the chat done because it wants to have Mina it requires Erica's full name. Who the fuck is Erica? Yeah, who's Erica? Erica Simmons? How do you know that? Oh, we have to have an image file. Oh. A discussion with Mina regarding her involvement in a road accident that led to Erica's death. The accident is also further detailed in a police report. Oh, okay. So, have you thought about it, Mina? You mean my backstory? Yeah, but also my idea about using Erica, unless you have anything else. I don't know. It feels kind of low, scummy even. Can I really use the accident and her death to boost my profile? Are all, are all artists are tortured by souls, right? Sorry, that was stupid. Do you trust me? You know I do. Then yeah. I think you should do it. It's just what really happened is not that interesting. Then dramatize it a little bit. Documentary, documentaries do it all the time. No one is going to dig out a police report or anything. Besides, it happened in Springwood. So hardly anyone would know. So it's in Springwood. So like just fluffing it up, right? Yeah, just tweaks here or there, and you just want to inspire with your music, right? I do. Use your pain. A lot of people can relate to trauma. Seeing you strong, persevering, succeeding, that's powerful. I'm not sure if I'm good enough to pull that off. Mina, stop selling yourself so short. Mina, Maya guides Mina through a difficult time, encouraging her to do better. Um, just need to apply yourself better and believe in yourself because I believe in you. That's like the nicest thing anyone has said to me. Okay, you're right. A good story gives people hope. I think I'm starting to see what you mean. It gives me an idea for a new song, too. There you go. Thank you, Maya. You're a good friend. Happy to help.
Springwood. Springwood. Okay, so if we go here, road accidents, Erica Simmons. Still don't know how you got that last name. Did it say what month it was? God, I'm a mess right now. Found it. Accident report. Hit and run. August 8th, 2012. Vehicle manslaughter. June Kovac driver. Erica Simmons passenger. Mina De Silva pedestrian witness. Witness statement. Collision point. Okay. Unknown driver. It was about 7.36 p.m. when we were stopped at the red light intersection at Springwood. The light had just turned green and we were attempting to cross. That's when a man in a black sedan came. Sedan coming from St. Martin's Road ran the light and slammed in the passenger side of the car, hitting Erica Simmons. It sped off before we realized what was happening. A few drivers from the other car stopped to help, and they stayed with us until the ambulance arrived, but no one remembers the plate number of the car that hit us. The collision inflicted grievous injury upon the front passenger, Erica Simmons, emergency services state that she was dead moments before they had arrived on the scene. The driver, June Kovac, suffered slight trauma. They were interviewed before being escorted to the hospital for treatment. No traffic cameras were located at the accident site, but a witness, Mina De Silva, was able to corroborate June's version of events. As of now, no new information is known about the hit-and-run vehicle. Witness, um, Jovac, Mina, responding officer, uh, oh, Jesus. Hey, June here. If you're listening to this, that means I can't come to the phone. I will text you soon. Hi, this is Mina. I can't take your call right now, but I'll be in touch when I'm able to. Okay. I don't recognize this number. Who is this and what do you want? Huh, it's the police. I'm looking for you into your accident again. What? Really? This is so sudden. You closed the investigation years ago. Why now again? Uh, an independent inquiry. Oh, thank God. They closed the case so quickly. The killer is still on the loose. Just think about it, it makes me sick. My therapist told me to let it go, but I knew deep down I was holding on to it for a reason.
Oh, I see. So she was singing the song saying that was her best friend, but she was just a witness. I see. Hey, good morning. What a lying snake. Who gave her the right? She's talking about the accident using Erica's name. I mean, it's a true event, but I am Erica's best friend, not her. She just stole my story. Passing off a tragedy as her own. Why would someone do that? I mean, I've heard of people presenting themselves as a hero, but a victim? That is just pathetic. I hope you do. These bloody Chimera stars are just looking for drama in their empty, boring lives, putting themselves on pedestals while using pain to fish for pity likes. Why not just snap a selfie with Erica's corpse, you bitch? Oh, the world will know. Our local paper covered the accident. The article clearly quotes the lying tart Mina saying that she doesn't know us. Using a real death to tell a fake story, that's pure evil. I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood to talk anymore. You got what you need, right? I need to be alone. Local swim star killed in hit and run. Ooh. I don't know who they are, but my thoughts and prayers go with them and their family, said Mina, a witness to the accident. A news article clearly saying that Minnie was only a bystander to Erica's accident and not her best friend, like she claimed on social media. An invitation to an influencer convention. Um, do we have an invitation to an influencer convention? That was in the email, right? It was this one, I thought. Oh no, maybe that was not. Maybe it was. I don't know. You know, for someone who's such a tragic rock star, I don't buy any of Mina's melodrama. There's no record of any of her stories. See if she mentions any specific incident, something you can look up on the police database. It covers everything from murder to accidents. Oh, already ahead of you. Uh, I think this detective is it. Okay, enough with the talking. I'm busy. Shit. God, I got so much stuff to do. Just keeps chatting. Okay, got it. Request for temporary personnel has been granted for 24 hours. Field Team Delta is now under Dupe's command. Confront Mina about faking her tragic story.
June. Oh, it's out in the press now. Jeez. You have some explaining to do. Why are you triggering me with this? What the heck? I don't know what they did, such a big report. No, 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 the story's real, it's just someone else's. Okay, I didn't know her personally, but really did affect me, okay? I witnessed someone dying. Why did you make it your story? I'm sorry, okay, I had to. People don't want to just listen to your music. They want the whole package. They want you to look and act to match. You're benefiting from other people's grief. I'm expressing their grief for them. There's a difference. You're to you totally don't get it. People think it's so easy to get discovered, but there are so many musicians out there. To be authentic, you have to change your reality a little. I couldn't reach people with my music before, but now everyone's listening to me. I just want people to listen to me. You can't just focus on your talent. Talent isn't enough. They want a personality to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just another day in Marlo's life. Why do they always stick me with these idiots, I swear? What, Morello? You, of all people. Are, are you listening to the radio? What, just because I take the weirdo cases, everybody's gonna... Gosh, you gotta stop. You scare the shit out of me. When the criticism started, I exaggerated even more, because cause I wanted everyone to stop, and I didn't know what to do. You sound like Arya and Rex. When the deal thingy came up, I was already uncomfortable even thinking about another easy way out. Plus, the sacrificing was totally weird, so I ignored it. Maybe you got tired of listening to Maya. No, she helped me so much, okay? She's like the... was the only one who really cared. I shouldn't believe Maya at first when she mentioned all this. It was just too weird. By the time I understood, it was totally too late. You can stop it from happening again. Ow. I couldn't even help Maya. It all happened so fast and we were all so useless because we couldn't process anything that was going on. And then she was gone. I don't know what to think or do anymore. You must know something. Oh my god, I'm so confused right now. And I'm like the real idiot for going along with Arya and Rex. They're the worst. Of course, one of them wouldn't have done this to poor Maya. Maybe even together. I know she's been losing jobs. I didn't dare ask her about it. She gets really defensive sometimes, you know. But anyway, she can... She was out of cash and pretty desperate for work. Like, that was OTT, right? She actually seriously posted, like, the worst fake apology video ever. After we got the deal thingy, she started getting all the big brands on her side. Even like even a modeling gig. No one wanted to give her work and suddenly she's hot stuff again. That's suspicious. I can't believe she stabbed by her in the back like this, but now we know what kind of person she is, right? I'll see what she has to say. Jeez. Hey, don't leave me hanging there. I'm getting pretty nervous right now. Did Rex squirm when you caught him out? 
I just want my normal life back. What? I've already told you everything. Forget it. I'm sorting this out myself. Go back and get the totem. If you're going to bitch about me, then have the balls to say it to my face. All right, I'll start. You're a murderer. I can't believe you did this to Maya. Me? Oh my God, you filthy liars. You're conspirac conspiring against me. That's what it is. I didn't take the deal. Some friends you turn out to be. You're all just like the others, tearing me down. You never really liked any of us. Not even Maya. Yeah, so quit the bullshit sob story. I'm done here. Let's just see how powerful this monster is. You're threatening us now, right? Just proves my point. You're going to send the Ripple Man after us. You think I took the deal, right? Well, I just took it. God, finally. That's a confession, right? So we were right. Is the Ripple Man coming for us? I don't care who gets sacrificed or what happens anymore. But no one's going to drag me down. Are you going to die for or what? But she said she took the deal. What does that mean? I have no idea what's going on here. How much longer is this? My ass hurts. We may have to finish this in a part two or part three. We have to get back to work. I need to, I need to go to Aria. By God, you solved it. Are you sure you're right? No room for mistakes here. I think the Ripple Man got to her. What do you mean, got to her? I'm prepping the team. Are you still online with them? Phone is acting up. Is it broken? That phone is the key to everything. Don't break it. Now, please get me up to speed. I need to know what to expect when we bust down that door. Oh no! Oh no! Holy jeez. This is psychedelic. Reminds me of one of those old screensavers from the windows. Oh. 
What's happening? You are real, are you? Our realities are one. See? You are tethered to us. We are Ripper Man. We are free. Hello, solving the case doesn't end with pointing the finger at the perp. Where the hell are you? I need a straight answer. This case is going to either make or break dupe. The team I have here, best guys on the force. If we're gonna run me instead, and if dupe is dissolved, there'll be no one left to look to these creatures. You're a ghost. You don't exist in this investigation. As far as they know, I acted alone. I can't tell the work I put into dupe just lind. The truth needs to be exposed, so please tell me that we got this right. Excellent, so our hunch was correct. How did you figure it out? Your intel led me to the truth. It was a team effort. We got Maya the justice she deserves. And we're finally going to stop these damn things from causing any more havoc. This is gonna be big. Yes, this case will be the foundation for Duke to even do greater work. 
I'll apprehend the rest of Maya's friends, too. We need to get to the bottom of this. got to the scene, we saw Arya's face rip open. Next thing I know, she's gone. I almost had her, damn it. Not that it's her anymore. That thing is operating her like a sock puppet. We failed. And we've that was a lot, Tweet. World. I tell you what. That was another five-hour one. That was long. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Any chance of a drink around here? Oh god, this guy. No. <sighs> Fine. What do you want me to say? That after this experience I've learned to grow, to appreciate life better? Please. If anything, this just proves everything I say about the world. If I do something right, just comes back around to bite me in the ass. That's the difference between me and those who died. That thing got them because they couldn't play the game. It's all just a game of survival. And I'm a survivor. I know what you think of me. I'm not stupid. And I really don't care. Because I'm going to tell you a little secret. Everyone, everything is out to get you. And the only one who's got my back is me. I'll do whatever it takes to keep going. Lie, cheat, whatever. 
Not my problem if some people lose out. It's not my fault if people die. If I played nice, I wouldn't be here right now. It's every man out for themselves. And I'm gonna keep hustling to get the life I want. So, how about that drink? It's been a hell of a day. Oh, man. That was interesting. It was way more complex than they had those videos, which were crazy. But, um, yeah. Definitely a different twist than the first one as far as stuff going on. It played similar, but yeah. All right. Well, that was the Simulacra 1 and the Simulacra 2. We completed the first one and then we did the second one. So that was a lot, a lot of gameplay. Uh, but uh, that will be an early morning for us here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, it's been great having you here. And thank you to all the Turtle Hawk crew members down here and the Purple Scroller, all of our monthly subscribers. Uh, much appreciated. And also everyone that did follow or subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, and then also Sydney Rock, thanks for your super chat, $5 as well. Uh, we will be back uh, this week with some more scary gameplay. Hopefully some uh, multiplayer games. Um, get back into some multiplayer games this week. So keep your eye out. Uh, if you're not a member of the Discord, join the Discord. I post in there when we're going live. And uh, calling out for her peace. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for joining and watching. We'll see you next time. Chief Turtle Hawk is out.